again. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Isekai Dungeons & Dragons, episode 33. I'm pretty sure it's 33. That's what I put on the stream thing. Uh, 3-3, three, three, um, mm -hmm. representing the best number. It's not. I'm here with the shark, Daniel Green. He's standing up. Uh, I'm here with... No <laughs> that's, 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 what is that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm here with Norman, Norman Briggs. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting over a cold, so it's going to be extra easy to do Norman's voice. Oh, perfect. I'm here with Cody Schwabity. Hey, it's me, Cody. And I'm here with Teching 101, Anthony. I, I don't know. Anthony talks with a non-coastal accent. I don't really have a, a, a <laughs> voice for him, but he just talks like this. Hi. <laughs> um, and where we left off, our adventurers had found the location of the Bard Holy Site, the Bard Tower uh, for Hachiko, and mm -hmm. they discovered that they needed a key to enter the chamber that's in the shape of a heart um, that was stolen ages ago by a sand giant in the desert. And they are now yeah, on I their way to the sand Charlie, I was going to cut, out for a, cut in for a bad joke. Anthony kind of sounds like my favorite YouTuber that lives in Pennsylvania. His name <laughs> really? Matthew. Yeah. Well, you two... Uh... Wait, wait. So, so, did, so did old Tony and William. Weird. <laughs> yeah, strange. You know, that's, I, I hear that a lot, actually. Is you it know? canonical that Norman's favorite YouTuber is teching? Oh, God. Well, Norman... It's canon that Norman's watched One Piece. Yes. Yeah. So it's po very likely. It's very possible. probably like, that you... I feel like he would at least know who you are. Okay, you, let's be realistic. Norman is an uncomfortable uh, nerd who doesn't go outside much. He's clearly a fan of me. <laughs> All right. Guaranteed. Also, you know, Anthony, Anthony's from the year 2050, so I don't know if I'd still be making YouTube videos at that point. I don't know if I'd be 57. I don't know if I'd be... Well, maybe. maybe. But, but, but Briggs, you said probably. You Norman's your character. You could definitively well, say yes watched, or no. Yes, he he's definitely watched him. I just don't well, know if it's... I, I guess you're well, you're one of Norman's favorites. I'll say the characters <laughs> take on a life of their own. Rustage. I don't know what like old Tony always thought. You okay, know what fair I mean? enough. Like, Does yeah. Norman have his like top five or like a tier list of the YouTubers <laughs> he watches? He hates. Uh, yes, but not lazy off the content. top of my head. <laughs> 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 All right. He we, just he just so happens to love Techie 101, Rustage, Schwabity, and Daniel Green. <laughs> yeah, those, that, that out. those are those are some old names. Oh, Mark the Schwabity? Oh man, he's the greatest uh nerdcore artist ever where I'm from. He's top of the charts right now. Yeah. Like that hack Rustage who fell off so fast. I, I, I don't Anthony does not even know Rustage's name. Anthony doesn't even know. Oh, I don't know God. who that is. I've never heard of him. Just uh, kidding. Norman just watches like VTubers that are like half animal. <laughs> Best. Um, after the anime, after the One Piece riots, anime became global and, and nerdcore just went through the roof. And then, you know, so Mark just really took off. And yeah. Oh, wow. I just got I can't really believe it. Anthony canonically gets to watch all of One Piece live action if he wants to. Motherfucker. Yeah. Oh, live Yo. action? Yeah. We're up to like season 12 right now. It's pretty what good. What year is Anthony from? 2050 is when he got isekai. Okay. So it takes me until like I'm 55 years old, but eventually no, no, I made no, no, no. it. Canonically, the One Piece riots occur in 2029. So in the early oh. 2030s is when you start selling sold out okay. crowds. So yeah. Like, there you okay. go. Wow. Cool, cool, yeah. cool, 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 cool. Wait, does does he make like a rap about the end of One Piece? That's like, like I don't know. He, do you, which, Mark? Which I don't. Side of the One Piece riots. <laughs> I made I made a I made a, a song <laughs> protesting the riots. He brought he brought the fandom <laughs> back. <laughs> He was the glue that brought his back together after yeah. the riot. This isn't what Luffy would have wanted, guys. <laughs> Be Be the word. Yeah, he made, <laughs> we be friends. he made a video about it. He made a YouTube video. It got the most popular. It was more than Gangnam Style or Baby Shark. It just exploded. It brought the world together into one. <laughs> Now in 2050, by the year 2050, Mark, you're kind of like an old school rapper at this point because it's been like 20 years. But you're still you're still selling out places. You're the Nas of rappers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, you're cool. at that point. Yeah. Where, where is Ru where is Rustage buried? That's just what I want to know. No one is. <laughs> I don't know who the Rustage guy is personally. I I don't know. There's just like a tombstone that like a dog pees on a lot. <laughs> Anthony was born. Actually, in 2023, it was like two years after Old Tony disappeared. So yeah, yeah. you know, he does. He'd be like like a baby right now when we're doing this. 
This oh. is so meta right now. I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> Welcome to the special episode of East Kai D&D. Like how sometimes sitcoms have like clip shows. This is us just filling in gaps in the wall. <laughs> okay. Uh, so so uh, um, we're going to right, get right. The, the heart necklace, right guys? All right. Yeah, yeah, we gotta find the heart all right, necklace. I forgot that we started the episode already. Yeah. You guys are onwards. Giant, right, okay. Listen, it's not East we're Kai D&D if we don't spend the first like five minutes of the episode just talking about whatever shit we want to. It's yeah. lore. No, that was lore. That was hard. That was lore. That, that was, was real lore. Yeah. Okay. Okay. okay, so you guys are venturing north in the deserts of Solemnia. Um, you've been given a map that's like very detailed that I, oh, I nice. did say that I would make one and I haven't. So, <laughs> all right. <laughs> well, who is, which NPCs are with us, if any, right now? Bone Slaw, Little Feather, and Hachiko. Okay. Okay, so uh, we got three NPCs to work with. Okay, yeah, yeah, gotcha. Yeah. You got them. Yeah. You got them. Hachiko uh, occasionally barks, but is mostly stoic. Um, it's Japanese barks. Yeah, Japanese. <laughs> one. 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 <laughs> one. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, okay. And you what guys. What about, isn't Yog with us? Oh, or fuck. Did we leave him Yog somewhere? Is prob Yog got left behind at the bar, I think. Yeah, Yog got drunk. Yeah, He's I, out. I think you left He's him in Rat East Rat Town. I don't remember you picking him up again. Oh, uh, God. If he goes. No, because we were wolf. watching it. We were watching over him at night when we last rested. Yeah, and then you un. un Dude, if, if Yogg turns into a wolf in East Rat Town, that's going to be a fucking massacre. Bear. He turns into a bear. Oh, we bear, bring, yeah. we're, bringing, we're bringing him with us. Okay, so Yogg's here too. Okay. Okay, so, so meant four to be with You've got the gotcha. fucking gang. <laughs> yeah! You got the we gang. We get back and it's, all the rats are dead. <laughs> <laughs> no, the Who is so, handling the heat the worst? Uh, okay. Uh, um, oh, gosh. I mean, Cody's from California. I got an so air conditioned battle suit. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, what about, what about the shark? He's from the Midwest. It's not good. I mean, did Chicago the Midwest? Yeah, that's the yeah, yeah, it's the Midwest. It's great legs. It gets humid. <laughs> Sorry, I knew that Kayla would look. When you asked if Chicago's the Midwest, I just heard. I heard this snotty scoff. From over here. <laughs> I, I, I knew the mo immediately when you said is Chicago the Midwest. I was like, Kayla's not gonna like that. <laughs> <laughs> Norman, are you still wearing a hoodie in the desert? <laughs> Why is he yeah. using belly button? It's my. It's, it's, it's my aesthetic. But, yeah, uh, you're just, you're just I, wearing a hoodie, am, an anime hoodie. I am definitely missing missing the AC back home. I should probably my next spell. I'm gonna get us like some AC spell or something. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I have that in my suit actually. I raise up my gauntlets like Iron Man's repulsor cannons and cast Ray of Frost on Norman. <laughs> <laughs> that, that feels good. Right. You guys are walking for quite like, at least half a day. Um, mm -hmm. Is there anything you guys want to talk to each other or say? before you reach your destination. I mean, we're just talking about Mark solving the One Piece, right? Yeah, okay, so, I mean, yeah, probably. <laughs> that is what happened canonically. Okay, yeah, then right. after a while of walking... Oh, no, I I have a thing. Yes. Okay. Um, the shark went through some serious stuff recently. You I'm did. not forgetting the character growth, unlike oh, all yeah, yeah, the yeah, you comments did. have you been did, saying. You, you fucking... <laughs> you I didn't who know you the show. Through the comments. <laughs> you fucking <laughs> asshole. <laughs> 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 Oh you gosh! Fucking monsters! <laughs> this is all planned out. I got, I got notes. I'm an author. <laughs> Are you gonna go back to the accent? First of all, no, that's hard. <laughs> Second of all, <laughs> the shark is gonna on this trip have some silent nights, smoking a cigarette, cigar, not the cigar that transports him, having a rough time. Yeah, and one night. He's going to finally feel ready. He's going to ask his best friend, Norman, who probably doesn't feel the same way, but that's okay with the shark. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to open up. He's going to he's gonna do some talk of walking. He's going to be like, hey, as long as Norman says yes. I don't know what Norman says. The shark, I do consider you a friend. That's Even if hurtful. You're <laughs> Not bats. There's an absence of bats. <laughs> <laughs> You um, know what? It's, it's more than the other guys could probably say. Consider you killed William Shakespeare and <laughs> used his body as a as a weapon. The shark goes. That's kind of what I wanted to talk to you about. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that was such a cackle, Rustin. Oh <laughs> god! I just I love it because I love. <laughs> I can just imagine like a serial killer being like. Hey man, we're friends, right? And the other guy is like, I guess so, but you did kill all those people. Well, that's what I'm here to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> I, I said I do, consider, I do consider you a friend. It's true. Yeah. yeah. 
I've never really told anyone about this. Violence has been in my life since before I was born. I killed my brother in the womb, that's true. <laughs> my parents held it against me my whole life. Said I was born a sinner. Put me down the path I'm on today. When the war came about, seemed like I found my calling. Get to go over to Europe, fight for what's right. I bathed in blood. And I found a new type of brother. Not by blood, but by experience. He died with me in those trenches. I, uh, I didn't handle after the war too well. Came home, but not really. Struggled, joined a gang, found more violence. But I couldn't even handle it there. I was known for losing control. Killing people didn't need killing. I took my meds. They didn't help. I was finally on my way to get institutionalized. Fell asleep in the back of a truck on the way to the loony bin. I woke up here. <laughs> I woke up here. Where the air tastes sour and watermelony. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that's just uh, the candy you got in your mouth there, buddy. I can but, also uh, you know. This is this is the first time. I believe you. It sounds it sounds it sounds real and authentic. It is. But I came here and I thought I might be able to escape the violence, but I was wrong. It's still in me. And I needed to stop. So I'm saying from this moment forward, I accidentally killed a kid here. Oh, it's not okay. the world that's a problem. I thought it was the world. It's me. I'm the fucking problem. I killed a baby in front of its parents, and I felt nothing in the moment. <laughs> In fact, I think it felt good. So, <laughs> I'm trying to stay in character. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. I know what YouTube Shut comment you read Shut as well. Shut the fuck up. I know. You Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Rustage, I will break your teeth like a Brit you are. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> All right. I'm pledging from this day forward. I won't kill another person in this world. I'll fight. I'll hurt. No one else dies by my hand. And from here on out, I'm fighting passively. There's not going to be a kill strike from the shark again. Ooh. That's for you, Rustage. He's done. Oh, There will not be more death at the shark's hand. Oh, wow. gosh. Wow. Mm. I, wow. I, put my hand, I put my hand on the shark's shoulder. I believe you. The violence is definitely in you, and you could, you, you could definitely... And sometimes it's necessary, but you could do it. You could do it. And I, 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 give, the shark, I give the shark a hug. Good. I want to clarify. I will still hurt people. Like, as soon as you want me to. You want me to I'm really, wanna, really good at that. I want to clarify that I'm still a fucking asshole. <laughs> but, but I won't kill. Unless it's in the last defense of my or one of y'all's lives. And there's no other option. <laughs> I, I know a YouTube comment. You, there was a YouTube comment that says, how does the shark have a brother when he ate his brother in the womb? He could have just had two brothers. Like, what? No, no, no. <laughs> it's more hurtful if I lost a friend than considered a brother. <laughs> yeah. True. That's, that's true. That's true. Um, there's also, I like that the shark has changed the canonical beginning of this campaign. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. Um, you did. You were not in in a van on the way to the loony bin when you got transported <laughs> in this world. You but were in an alley breaking someone's legs. <laughs> he thought was he was, that was in the lie. alley. That was he a lie. He was no. in the alley. That was a no, lie. The, okay. the shark was lying because he was ashamed. He was just lying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and the, the role play we did was lying as well. Like it was. Yes, yes, yeah, yes, that was That was the The DM can lie too. The narrator can be deceitful. He doesn't always need to be hundred percent true. That was that was him going crazy in in the loony bin. That's what he thought happened in the loony bin. Yeah. That's what he was fantasizing about in the back of the van. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. I, I love the unreliable narrator because that doesn't give you like the idea of a god that knows everything that what's going to happen. Yeah, you know. Yeah. And if Rustin will back me up, we actually planned all this out from before oh, the campaign yeah, started. Yeah, hundred. Really now? Wow, yeah, that's a, a year and a half in the making. Yeah, that's listen. crazy. Kayla and I co-authored yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's actually a hundred percent Kayla's idea. Kayla was like, yeah. Daniel Green has to play this character called the Shark. Uh, mm -hmm. I've drawn him. <laughs> <laughs> she fed me lines. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you fed Maybe, well, keep in mind, we started playing this before we started living together. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Uh, so only Norman gets this. Uh,. Oh, yeah, only Norman says, gets it. Which I Shark okay. is by saying if you tell anyone else, I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I, but, I would, I would. I would have thought it would have been Cody out of everyone, because Cody's, but he he chose Norman. So oh no, 
The shark's too jealous of Cody for being bigger than mm. him. He actually connects with Norman <laughs> on a little bit of a level. And then the new guy, he's like, I yeah, I mean, me. yeah, you don't know me. Yeah. yeah. What, what about Boneslaw? You killed together. Yeah, you did kill a lot of people together. Yeah, but Boneslaw, even with the dead kid, was like, yeah. yeah so like, it, really <laughs> oh, Boneslaw's the bad influence here. He's the devil oh, on yeah. your shoulder. Bonesaw Bonesaw the, and he Little just Feather. Arm wrestle people. Boneslaw and Little he Feather. <laughs> Bonesaw and Little Feather are like good and evil on yeah. on the sharks. Oh, I was thinking Bonesaw and Baby Shark. Like that would be yeah. the show. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh god. Okay. okay. Oh my goodness. All as right. you guys are walking through the desert, in the distance, finally, as the clouds sort of part, you see a looming sand giant, like a giant sand golem. But it's oh. it is bigger than you could even imagine. I'm talking huge. Like, like into like a skyscraper size oh, or yeah, bigger, like the Burj Khalifa. Oh, Jesus. it's huge, and it's going into space. It... No, no, is that it moving, big. but it's not moving. It is set. It's just standing there. Okay, ominously, Men as the desert sands and clouds part. I, I don't know if we Do... could fight this thing. Do we see a man in black fling across the desert and a but, gunslinger following? <laughs> no, you do not see that. Fuck! But what you do see is a dusty sign that says Corpus this way and a little arrow pointing towards the sand golem. It said what this way? It said Corpus. Corpus. Oh. This way. Okay. All right. I guess we head toward. I mean, that's clearly a sand giant. I don't know if it's the one we're looking yeah. for, but it'd be weird. That's, if that were I mean, how many of them can there be? <laughs> well, I mean, I'm just saying, if this thing has the key and we have to fight this thing, it could just step on us and cause like a magnitude ten earthquake. So, <laughs> like, I feel like we definitely need a game plan here. But yes, it would be very weird if that wasn't the objective. I play enough video games to know that's a boss. <laughs> yeah, there's no way we can fight this thing. Let's and just do our best not to aggravate it. I I'm going to scan the environment for another sand golem that might be. <laughs> it's like a really small one. Wait a second, guys. There's a little guy. <laughs> and he's just carrying it like, whoa, look what I got. <laughs> um, can you describe like the setting around the golem? It's, it is dunes and, um, I mean, sand dunes mountains but he towers above everything and he couldn't see it before because the air was thick with with haze and um sand in the air mm. and and clouds maybe um, we're supposed to go it. in the golem hey the well, shark i think you made a lot of progress but uh it might be time for us to be violent once more <laughs> at least are, you, not not human those are big i'm memes. trying to think does that apply to human, like non-humanoid things? Like, you know what I mean? Like, if if someone's like, I'm not going to mm. kill anymore, w w and then they killed something non-humanoid, would you be like, ah? That's like, a that's a plot point in in mm. in my other D and D series. Was yeah, uh, okay. Gravy, who was a pacifist, he has this moment where he's like, I swore I'd never hurt another human again, and they're fighting a bunch of robots, and he's like, but these are not humans, and he just starts fucking ripping them apart. Yeah. So yeah. they're like automata. So yeah. like, a golem yeah, is not. <sighs> It depends. Okay. Would, it depends on how you define humanity, right? Is it? Is I would it like, say if a golem had a soul, like it was capable of like solum? rational thought. You know, that's so funny, Rustage. I nearly just said solemn as well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Listen, um, hopefully it won't come down to that because if this thing starts swinging, w there's nothing we can do. That's the uh, the fist the size of a town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a big fist. Big if this fist. thing looks like it's got ill intent, we need to. Hightail it out of here. Mm hmm Okay. Um, should we be a little bit more sneaky then, says Little Feather. Yeah, probably. Is there any way for us to disguise our selves as we as we move towards as this like, thing? As like sand? Uh, I could well, I can make us invisible. Can, yeah, you, invisibility yeah, would do it. guys do have invisibility. I have an invisibility ray. Um, Hachiko woof, woofs as well. Woof, How woof. many of us are there? Like four NPCs plus the four of us, so eight. We got a fellowship going, guys. We should be kind of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I yeah. can't make everybody invisible. <laughs> uh, I, I can guess... make two people invisible. I guess we only need one person to be invisible to like see what's ahead. I guess. Right. Yeah. If we want to send a scout ahead. Who's the most stealthy? Bone slaw. How about I make you <laughs> I invisible? Bone slaw. I am. <laughs> 
I want to arm wrestle him. <laughs> actually, little feather, little feather as invisible might actually not be a bad idea. I, I mean, if you're sure. But uh, just to yeah. does, it does it have a range limit or no? Because she could fly far away. I would cast it on yeah, her, and, and then I think... she would be invisible, and she can go right. Yeah. So, okay. So it, it, you can go a continent away. Yeah, it's as not long like as it's not like Bluetooth stays. connectivity. It lasts. Uh, I think it, it lasts one hour. hour. It lasts yeah, one, one hour. hour. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I think that okay. sounds perfect. If Little Feather turns invisible, flies ahead. Use your special bird eyes to scout out and see what the situation is and report back. Okay. Okay. I will use my invisibility ray, which looks like a little radar dish on uh, Little Feather. Just like, okay, hold tight. I've never used this on someone else. I actually don't know how this is going to feel. <laughs> Uh, she okay. dies. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna need her to make a constitution saving throw. <laughs> she turns invisible <laughs> immediately. I, I have never been invisible like this before. Uh, unless I have, and I've just forgotten. Anyway, so... <laughs> <laughs> now keep in mind, people can still hear you, so I don't know if that's gonna be relevant, but keep uh, that in mind. I will be, I will be sneaky then. Um, uh, actual technical question is... When we've seen her people fly, are they like owls where they're like super quiet? Like, is that how they're feathering? I, I think it depends like on what type of bird person they are, right? Okay. Well, what kind of bird person is she? She's a she's a blue jay, right? I think. A blue, well, obviously, we've we've seen her fly plenty. Yeah. How? Yeah. What's the volume like she, of her flying? She's a sort of. That's the smart way to ask that question. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, she makes a little bit of noise. She's not silent. I have okay. really wouldn't, if, like, you a, wouldn't if, hear it if, way in the distance. If a golem heard a bird flying by, yeah. it's gonna like freak out. To, really Norman. Norman, do you have that spell that makes people <coughs> quiet? I do not. Damn it. All right. I mean, to be fair, the golem's ears would be very high up. That's true. Yeah. If, if, so, if he hears like a normal person. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, okay, she's going to... I guess she will roll a stealth. 19. Okay. Wow, nice. Well, okay. with so, advantage, I'd say. With the, yeah, you, she's you, good. You, yeah. you see the sand sort of shift as she... Um, I guess, Cody, you notice her smell leave. Um, because you don't see her going <laughs> into the distance. Um, and then after a little while, eventually she returns. And she, um, goes uninvisible in front of you guys. Yeah, I'll just... Okay. Okay. Listen, guys. You won't <laughs> fucking believe this. But by the foot of this giant sand thing is like a door and it has a big sign over the top that says welcome to corpus and there's a man outside of it and it looks like an entrance oh okay it well that says makes more welcome? sense it says yeah. welcome to corpus and a door all right Roll perception on deception. Maybe this is the long con betrayal. Maybe she's you, a bad guy. If you guy, want to do let's... that, it's it's an insight roll. You can perception do an insight. on deception. <laughs> it's it's not an an Stop I do like the wording of I, it. I, I, I believe her. I believe her immediately. I have no, no I'm, reason. I'm totally joking. I would trust yeah. her with my life. Does this guy, the guy at the door, is he like armed or anything? Does he look like a guard? He does not look like a guard. He looks a little bit like... He looks a little odd. He had a funny hat. Um... How funny desperate. was this hat? Fucking hilarious. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Indescribable. <laughs> uh, uh, it's, it pictured the funniest hat you've ever seen. Funnier than that. That's a pretty funny hat. Yeah. Uh, I don't right. think it's that funny. All well, right. we do, I, I drew a picture. She shows you guys the <laughs> funniest hat. You have ever seen. <laughs> we no, no, no. Roll. Roll. Down laughing. You need to roll to see how funny this fucking head is. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What do exactly. you roll? Do a, do a fucking. Roll a 20. Roll a d20. Roll a yeah, sense well, of humor drew. check. Yeah. Roll a charisma <laughs> save. I, I will do a, I will do a uh, 1d100, a scale of 1 to 100. How funny is So this 100 hat? being like, like perfect. Super funny. At, yeah. uh, if, at 100, if, we all die, die. canonically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Laughter, canonically, right? 100, you guys <laughs> we die. We die of laughter. Uh, 50. Yeah. So, hey, it's still. <laughs> it's, that's, 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 it's, it's pretty funny. It's pretty that's funny. Pretty funny. That's not flat. the funniest I've ever seen, but no, it's you, up there. It's like yeah, in the top yeah. 10. It, it gets yeah. a laugh. Yeah, it, it gets, gets a, a laugh. It's. it's it's exactly as funny as an old comedy your parents show you as like a, this was the funniest thing ever in my yeah, day. Yeah, it yeah. Like, uh, like National okay. Lampoon's Vacation she, funny. Like, she, okay, I get it. She probably right. thought it was funny because it's funny to like her and her people, yeah, but yeah, not yeah. to you guys. Like maybe it's like a baseball cap, like a like a like a flat cap or something. That's like oh, okay. she would never seen that before, so it's really funny to her. But you guys have seen it, like a cowboy hat. Maybe. Oh, okay, I get it. It's a little funny. a perfectly right, average yeah. hat. Mm. All right, I gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Um, okay then. Well, I guess, do um, we just 
approach the front then? I mean, I gotta be honest with you, if we don't have to fight that thing, we just go in and ask around and get the heart? That's yeah. not a that's not a bad idea. I'm okay with that. That sounds ideal. Yeah. Um, if All you right. guys remember correctly, everyone that comes for this heart dies. Oh, that's we're right. Gonna, we're gonna yeah. have to fight something. Yeah. It's gonna be yeah. game. Do I they don't die fight. or do they not come back? There's Ooh. two very different things Did happening. Yeah, the guy, he said he didn't come back. Hmm. Yeah, that's how he said. So maybe okay. it's a perfect paradise and they just want to stay here forever. Or maybe they can't leave. Maybe when the door shuts, we're locked in the golem. Mm. Or they just get to go home when they're done. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, if that's what happened, I wouldn't go back to that town either. You know? Yeah. Hmm. I mean, it's a good point. We don't know that they died. We just know they didn't come back. Yeah, we could just get inside and it's just like... Las Snake, Vegas. Snake girls yeah. and Call of Duty. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you care about, huh, Norman? Sounds like paradise to me. Yeah, and Mountain Dew. I want to edit out Call of Duty and change it to Valorant. He, Valorant. Norman okay. would definitely play Valorant. Norman is definitely a Valorant He's a PC player. gamer. He doesn't. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. M and K uh, supremacy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, fuck it. Let's just march towards the golem's foot then. Okay. Yeah, let's just go. I guess. How, yeah. How well carved is this golem? By the way, as we get close to it. Oh. Um, like, is it like big blocks and stuff stacked together, or is it like carved finely? There's lots I'd of say, details. Yeah, it, I'd say it's very, it's very well carved. Not detailed, but well okay. carved. So it's not blocks, so, but it's it's mm -hmm. got smooth edges. Mm. Um, so. Visible toes or oh, visible toes, visible toes. Visible okay, toes. so giant feet. Okay. Yeah, giant, giant feet. Visible toes. Visible feet toes. Picks. Yeah, okay. hundred percent visible yeah. toes. I really want to stress visible toes. All right, Keru, can we get a thumbnail toes? <laughs> Just toes. <laughs> can we get one big sandstone foot? <laughs> the toes are the most well detailed part of the whole thing. Well, to be uh, fair, that I is have, a bit closer to the ground. <laughs> you're going to see. I have a gamer plan, guys. The okay. statue was brought to you by Tarantino. I, uh, <laughs> yeah. I very much doubt the golem is fast enough to catch me while flying. Okay. So what if I were to fly over, aggro, okay, let me, let me not use game returns, my apologies. Um, get the golem's attention. Get him to chase me off. You guys approach this man and the, and the door, right? After I, he's the door far is, enough The door away. is part of the, the golem. golem. Oh, I thought it was in front of the golem. No, no, the no, door no. is in the golem's foot. Golem's foot, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right hmm. now, aggroing—that's the word you used, yeah. Aggroing the guy is is not hmm. shouldn't be an issue. We, it looks like we can just go in, hopefully, as long as this guy at the base doesn't try and fight us. Yeah. So I think we can talk our way in. I think we can get in if it's just golem. one guy. You know. Okay, uh, yeah. we could try. Worst case, if things go wrong and this golem starts smacking down on us, I could turn a couple of us invisible, or um, Anthony could turn a couple of us invisible, and yeah, I, can, I can. Me and one other person could fly, and we just escape. I I'll be honest with you. This thing is so big, even if it wanted to move, it would probably take a while for just one foot to reach up, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, this thing is massive. I'm just saying, if you guys want to go and talk to this guy and see if we could enter the golem... Um, we'll try I'd say if just things go, go wrong, I think if I don't think we wrong, fight the golem then and there. Is what no, I'm we get away. We get away. All right. Okay. Let's okay. do that. Look how big those kneecaps are. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't reach them. But They're look too high. how big his arms are. I could arm his... wrestle him easy. Okay. Now his ankles. On the other hand, <laughs> ankles, ever let's ankle talk to this guy first, guys. Okay. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. So you guys are much forward across the dunes. Yeah, across the dunes. Cody, you wanna you wanna take the lead on this? I mean, <laughs> Cody's not a great talker. Ah, if there, I love if how you had to check. Be, if, I needed to check what his charisma score was. Yeah. If there needs to be any sort of like persuasion or deception, Cody's not the guy. Who has the best charisma? Because mine's only twelve. I actually think I. I don't think I have terrible charisma. I think you guys are not very charismatic as a group. We are not. Um, I'm talking about my TNT character. <laughs> Kayla just <laughs> softened from the core and went, You're really charismatic, babe. <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny. I have a 13, so I don't I'm not gonna help you there. Okay. Wow. We all my modifier is I, I, I do want to say for anyone confused, canonically the characters could look at their character sheets. That's like part yeah, of the Isekai world. Yeah. Is they could see their sheets. 
Uh, so this is not meta gaming. Um, they can look at how it. good they are. Cody, at charisma. Cody has the confidence, even if not the charisma. Yeah. All right. To uh, to to walk up and, and be the first one to speak. <laughs> that sums up our party so well. They have the confidence, <laughs> too, not the charisma. Um, yeah. yeah. So as you walk up, Hachiko barks at you, and you feel a little bit more inspired and more oh, confident. Thank you, Hachiko. He uh he used bardic inspiration. Does that apply on you. to just me or does it No you, yeah, he's using bardic inspiration just on me. you. Oh yeah, so it's just one person. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Is there a sort of a musical quality to his bark? <laughs> 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 oh fuck's sake! Okay, right. he he, um, he barks in dubstep. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good, actually. Okay, so you. Um, so I'm assuming this guy can probably see us from a while away as we're walking. Does he react at all to our approach? So as you guys approach, he goes. <gasps> Travelers, 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 welcome, welcome to Corpus, please, please, uh, come in, stay a while, my name is Parasmos, come on, come closer, hello, he, hey. is, he is a Sulkin, he has four arms, he's a, hey. um, a slightly light bluish Sulkin, uh, and okay. he's wearing a fez. Um, a fez. Ah, <laughs> a fez. That, that is, is a, about a, a fifty. A hat. Yeah, yeah, that's a fifty. Yeah. Oh, welcome. My name is Perasmus. I am. I am the tour guide, uh, but also the greeter, the doorman. Um, right. You know, we don't okay. get travelers hey. very often, but I drew what this person looks like. Can I show you? Yes. That's. <laughs> <laughs> that is about right. Yeah, that's, I love yeah, how your about. auto blow is not letting us see. For anyone yeah. listening to this, this is no. Just... Don't tell them. Don't tell them. Shh. This isn't for them. <laughs> okay, so we'll them. never know. For our blind viewers, too bad. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> we hate you. <laughs> this hey, episode we'll sponsored by people who can see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love I love seeing colors. You don't want to piss off all the blind people, guys. Now yeah. we have a problem on our Listen. hands. Yeah. I mean, they could they just miss if they, they try, try to attack us, but they won't be able to find us. Rest of that was the worst thing you've ever said. Okay. Yeah, they will they will roll to hit with disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, all right. And hey, buddy. Hey. No. Uh, I'll make it up. It's just the old lady for spirited away. It's the old lady. Okay. Okay. You baba. Hey. It's yeah. Baba. Yeah. He does not look like that. He looks like a sulkin. He sounds scrawny. Is he scrawny? He he's he's skinny. You can't follow yeah. that up with and he looks like. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I, hey shake, I shake, I shake, I go shake his hand. Uh, hey, nice to meet in you. In a typical Sulkin fashion, he puts all four hands over your hand and shakes it. Um, this is yeah. very nice. Um, what is your names? Tra we don't. Oh, oh we're the uh, otherworldly brewery. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's all of your names? Great. That's like our collective oh. uh, group company. Oh, yeah, great. Cody. Perfect. Cody, nice to meet you. Um, I already said my name, but... Um, I'm, I'm Anthony, yeah. nice to meet Anthony. you. Oh, wow. Yeah, you so, I guess yeah. he's in friendly knowledge. Just, like, point him around the group and every, as everyone yeah. like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We go through every name. Oh, what lovely names. What lovely names. Seems... And you're not Sulkin, too. No, yeah, we're kind of visiting. This is kind of... I guess you could count this as, like, a company trip. Oh, great. Yeah. We need more um, non-Sulkins up in here. Well, Boneslaw is a Sulkin. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, I, I noticed him. Very He's cool. totally not a wanted criminal right now. I... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but if I was, I'd be worth a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we're all here legally. Um, Parasmus, we're kind of new here. We, you know, heard about this golem, came to see what was happening. Can you, like, before we go inside, is there anything we should know about this? What is this place? Oh, it's a, it's a city. Uh, you'll love it. It's a city? Oh, yeah, Corpus. We tried to put it on the maps, but they never let us put it down. I, I, I put up some signs pointing towards it. Um, I don't know if you saw them. Um, yeah, we I saw those. Yeah. We, we did see that. Do you think... I kind of, like, just look around. So, around here, just to be clear, there's no, like, roads no. or any no, no, establishments no, 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 no. or any people. It's, it's just complete yeah. desert. Yeah. Anybody hmm. live in this city? Oh, lots of people <laughs> live in the city. They just they just live in they the don't city. Don't go outside. Well, of course, it's sands and dunes for miles out here. Nobody wants to be out here. And also the blood clot, you know, they they don't. The don't, what? I'm the, the I'm the only one that the blood clot lets out occasionally. Ah. Uh, so let's say we were to go in and then want to leave later. Can oh, we do sure, that? Sure, you could do that. You know. Oh, okay. 
Can we? Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I'm gonna roll insight on that. <laughs> yeah. We should definitely I mean, roll. I mean, I. It, I think I believe him. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think eleven. You believe him. I do. We all roll. We all saw your eyes. Like I know you're lying, but does Norman know you're lying? <laughs> I want to just quickly apologize oh. for on my own for like a solid minute there. It just was really funny to me how immediately everyone dogpiled blind people. And I just can't <laughs> stop laughing at that. Listen, we love blind. We had a whole episode dedicated blind to blind people. people. Yeah. We need to have we a had, We had a whole episode dedicated to them. We had to yes. yeah, we have it the other way. Just make sure. Yeah. It's like the BBC. We have to remain impartial. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Okay. Oh, so, wait, Norman, you see, he he's definitely hiding something, Norman. Um, I have a feeling he's lying, but at the same time, I feel like we gotta go in to find out. We're not, we're yes. not making any progress here, but he's definitely yeah. lying. There's, there's some, there's some, there's some treachery happening here. All right. Well, you said you were the tour guide, right? Yes. I think we'd all love a tour. Oh, you would. Oh, great, sweet paycheck. All right, come on in. <laughs> <laughs> all right, yeah. I mean, as long as we're helping you out, you know, oh, that's all good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I'll uh, take the grand tour, I guess. Um, and he he opens the door open, and behind him is like this. It looks like a rickety elevator at the base of the foot. Okay. How um, big is the door? Oh, it's like a big double doors. Okay, oh, okay. so it's like a, it's yeah, a yeah. relatively yeah. grand and this opening. And quite a big space. The base of this guy's foot is pretty yeah. decently. So placed. it's like and a like a freight elevator or yeah. something. And like you, you're all you going up. You, okay. you see the elevator, but around the elevator there are like um, there's a couple of people in red armor, and they're just sort of sitting there, and they they notice you come oh, in on the inside. Yeah, okay. on the inside. Mm. Um, and there's a couple of small buildings there as well. It's big enough for that, you know. This is like a field mm -hmm. of, of space, almost. Okay. Uh -huh. Hey, guys. Hi. Yo, what's up? Here. Welcome to Corpus. Hope you enjoy your stay. I didn't realize you were cool like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was ready for, hey, yo, what's up? Don't worry. These guys are just, you know, they're a little, they could be a little, um, you know. You these know. are the city guards? Yeah, that, well, these are the blood clots specifically. They're they're a branch of the blood force. Okay, I see. They, a lot of blood. Well, they yeah. they sort yeah. of, the blood clot are sort of near the um, exits and entrances to the city, mostly here. Um, you know, just to protect I, uh, us. You know, like guards do. Right, right, guys. I, I, I as as he continues leading us on, I kind of turn to whisper at the group, I'm like, can we try and get a gauge on these guys' like strength? Because we might need to fight our way out of here if they don't want us to leave. I'm too busy yeah. paying attention to this elevator. This thing has not passed inspection, let me tell you <laughs> that. I'm going to go work on that right now. I lean over. Oh, I you, have you, a should, thing. you should totally challenge yeah, yeah. someone to an arm wrestle. Yeah, shock, the shock literally has his ability to know thy enemy. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to know thy fucking enemy right now. All right. What um, do you want to know? Like, I mean, you got to like go talk to him for a minute or something. Yeah, you've got to spend I can about know their minute. strength score, dexterity score, constitution score, armor class, current hit points, total class levels, and total fighter you class. You can know two of those things and only in relation to yourself, right? I want to know all those things. I'll give you a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think the health and their like AC yeah. is pretty um, good indicators. You also have to spend about a minute like interacting with them. So do you want to go over and talk to them for a little bit? Oh yeah, I'm just gonna go over and talk to them. Yo. Uh, and, uh, I am going to recite the conversation I had with Norman verbatim. <laughs> 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 sir, 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 we are, sir, we don't um. Sir. I just bulldoze ahead. I don't uh, care how socially <laughs> uncomfortable yeah, yeah. it is. Uh, I just make them violently uncomfortable. Yo, you kinda you kinda acting weird, bro. Yo. Um Alright, but you do that for at least a minute. <laughs> yeah, that's like over a minute. Uh, okay, you could do it. Equals that's the shark sense of humor. He's not doing that because he's insane. He thinks that's fucking funny. <laughs> yeah, that's <why> <laughs> so which two are you choosing out of that list? I agree with um Cody here. Let's go with armor class and uh, HP. Okay, and it's uh, higher or lower than yours, so... Um, their, their HP are lower than yours. Their armor class is oh. higher than yours. What's my armor class? 16. Okay, your armor so class yeah, is 16, I... your hit points is 92. So they have lower I... HP than you, but higher AC than you. It could literally be like 17, which wouldn't that be that big a deal, but if it was like 20, we got a fucking yeah. problem. Yeah. 
And like that health, also that health being lower than yours doesn't really tell as much, actually. Yeah, because you've got so much fucking health. Yeah. Well, at least they were. Oh wait, like, am I long rested? Sorry, let me. Yeah, we're all we all long rested before we all long rested. Yeah. What if every god um, in the city had a hundred plus health? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Just they're they're powerful. They're blood clots, man. Um, can I spend another minute? <laughs> <laughs> no, take as much time as you want. Okay, Russell, okay. now I'm just going to say, now it's your turn. <laughs> oh, you know what? It was really brave of you to come out with all of that. Um, listen, I've been here my whole life. Uh, and I've always been a member of the blood clots. And In exactly at two minutes, I'm going to tell him, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what other two things do you want to know? I don't um, think that's how it works, but go ahead. <laughs> no, it is. It's fine. Um, total class levels. It's not, and if any, it's the, not relevant. They don't. They, it does. They don't have class levels. So. Oh, okay. I thought they did. Uh, then I'm gonna do their strength and dexterity. Oh uh, God, what's your strength? Um, they are slightly weaker than you in strength. Actually, there's a little bit of variance. Some of them are the same, and some of them are weaker. Ooh, look, okay, they're pretty strong then. I'm, I'm a strong man. I did the bow flex. Yeah. And dexterity? Um, they are more dexterous than you. You have a zero <laughs> dexterity. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, that's we still learned something about the strength there. Um, yeah. I'm going to go back to the guys, and I'm going to be like, I did the sheet thing, and I now know the numbers, and I'm just going to convey the information. <laughs> wow. I, I, I'm literally working you. on the elevator, because you. you said it was rickety, and yeah. I want to fix it up. So I'm doing that. Oh, we need more How technicians. How many nights do we see? Um, at, at the base here, there's about eight. There's about eight here. Okay. That you so can I know see. that everyone keeps saying blood clot, by the way, but just in various people's accents, it sounds like the Jamaican word blood yeah. clot. <laughs> Bomba clot. It's not yeah. it. It's, it's blood clot, as in C-L-O-T. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, it just is very humorous. Okay, so are you guys getting on the elevator? I mean, um, Parasmos is like, oh, this this elevator often stops. You know, it's like a a system where people get on and get off. But I, mm -hmm. I will I'll make sure that it goes straight to the to the town center for you guys. Um, All right. Um, All right. Cool. I fixed it up nice. Let's go. Oh, I, I, great! I oh, I, I well, I saw that you were way out of inspection. I don't think this would pass fire safety, so I managed to I changed out some of the uh, the cables and pulleys, and this one this guardrail wasn't right, and just you know. Oh, oh well, um, thank you. Uh, well, gosh, I hope I hope the bosses are okay with that. Um, and you all funnel onto this elevator, and he activates it, pulls a lever, and it starts to go up. And as it ascends through the golem's leg, you start seeing like houses of people uh, where people live, and occasionally it will pass like a stop where people are waiting for the elevator, and it passes by, and they look disappointed that they couldn't board. Okay. Um, but everyone in this little area, they all look relatively impoverished you know they impoverished they they look a bit dirty they uh and the houses are kind of quite rickety and shack like um sort of built all right but as you get closer um, and closer to the uh, um waste they get a little bit nicer until eventually you reach the top um of the golem's waist top of his leg and now you're in the main body area so we're in the hip you're in the yeah. you're not only in the hip this is the body it is okay, a giant okay. cavernous. <laughs> what? So, like, where the kidney is, or <laughs> that's just like that's this isn't the hip; it's the whole torso. No. That's <laughs> yeah. What? I, that's what I'm saying. Listen, you, okay. where the kidney as is, Parasmus where the intestine up, is. Like, as Parasmus you know. goes up, he explains. This is a. It, it is a. Um, this entire city was built inside a giant sand golem, which is lucky for us because golems. They don't have like organs already. They're just hollow on the inside. So we were able to construct a city in there and um, it's like a giant building and there's, uh, whenever it rains on the golem, it seeps through and rains for us as well. It is great. Uh, yeah, I, I gotta tell you about this. This looks all magical and whimsical and everything, but I noticed about 55 fire and safety violations. Like there is no way. So, what happens if that city down there catches on fire? The only way out is down an elevator shaft. That's a fail right there. You gotta bring this yeah, up to code. You need fire safety stairs on this golem. It's uh, too expensive and the, the, we, we have that sort of regulation nearer, nearer the brain. Um, I need to talk the, to your, I need to talk to your supervisor definitely about this. Um, but you, you enter into this cavernous space, um, and there's, there's these buildings built into the sides of the walls. There are multiple elevators, like transporting people and goods, and sometimes buildings so, up and down this torso whoa. like area. So it, now that we're in the torso, yeah. is it like from where we are on the bottom all the way to? 
the top it's just the the neck yeah, yeah it's all it's oh, all you wow. can just see this gigantic yeah, space gigantic space Holy in shit. the center right. of the space is a giant spherical building that's like glass and it has elevators it has tubes and leading towards it and elevators going up and down connected to those tubes and okay. hey guys if we're looking for a heart <laughs> i mean i feel like yeah, I figure it would be, be where the heart is. Um, yeah, okay. But there are pools of water and waterfalls and reservoirs built into this giant body. Um, but it is a thriving, multiple level city. Um, and he looks over at you guys and goes, What do you guys think? It's pretty cool, huh? Um, we've got. Where do you guys get your food? Um, we, we, we have to. We have farms. We've had, we have animals that we, we grow. And well, lots, lots of people eat it yummy in my tummy. And he points over at right. a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a big man so, like so you get you get a lot of sun in here then uh, uh well yes and and no we we um the the archbishop um pomo has to do a lot of um sun-based magic <laughs> ah i get you yeah. all right yeah um but wow. we do get water at the end for the rain, rain we purify it we 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 make do um, and it, 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 it's, it's great in here. You see, uh, there is quite a lot of blood force guards just occasionally um, put, you know, mm. around. All right. All right. A, lot of, uh, a lot of guards around. You guys have a lot of trouble? Oh, n no, we just, you know, you, know, you got uh, General Bone. He's, he's very strict, and, but, like, we got to keep the peace. We don't have any crime. You know what I mean? Like, crime rates are zero, and that's well, because well, we have... Zero crime? Yeah, that's pretty impossible. Yeah, absolutely no crime. This place is the <laughs> safest place wow, you could ever um, imagine. Wow. Um, how, how tough are your guards for zero crime rate? Like, what happens I mean, if someone exactly. tried to steal something? It just wouldn't happen. They're too scared of the guards, exactly, you know? Uh, you ever heard okay. of the broken windows theory? Yeah, okay, so we got this military dictatorship. I got it. All right. No, no, it's, it's not. No, no, no. Chairman Cerebrum, he's a loving, kind leader. Um, but yeah, you could find everything you want here in the torso. Um, All right. Yeah. What about that uh, glass building right there in the center? No, oh, that's where we keep the heart. Ah, oh, right. That's the chamber uh, of life. Um, I would like to see the Chamber of Life. Oh, I, I would love to see the Chamber of Life. Uh, I'm sorry. That's actually what we came here for. Um, uh, let's go see the Chamber of Life. No? You're no, no common citizen uh, uh, is allowed near Well, we're the not citizens. Oh, yes, I mean, we have money. Yeah, yes, you are. You... Uh, I'm the fire and safety inspector, sir. Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> so... What did, what did Prosma say? Yes, yes, your citizens. Congratulations on your citizenship. I hope you enjoy your life. No, here. we're not. Um, we're citizens... Of the United States of America. <laughs> yeah, I'm straight. I slapped Cody on the back. <laughs> we are citizens of the United States of America, brought to you by McDonald's, damn it. Listen here, Perasmus, I don't even have a passport, okay? Never mind our citizenship. Uh, what are you, what are you implying? I'm saying congratulations. Um, you could, uh, if, um, there's plenty of jobs here. If you earn up enough money, you may be able to get a uh, house in the arms. Um, well, no, that's, oh, thank you for that. We have great news. We have infinite money. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, we are kind of loaded. No, yeah. here we don't. <laughs> you just told us we're citizens, and if we have enough money, we can get access. Guess what? We're citizens, and your boys got money. Well, how much that money do true. you have on you? All of it. Well, maybe, maybe you could get a nice, maybe you could get a nice resort in the hands. Ooh, the hands. Hey. That's actually lovely. Is there is there a pamphlet I could look at? Corpus. I'm gonna I wanna play the game of D D real quick. Can I roll intimidation and just threaten this person? <laughs> what, how what are, are you, you threatening, threatening him? What are you doing? Uh I'm gonna say I have all the money I need. Norman, remember how you said I wouldn't kill? That doesn't mean I won't beat the ever living piss out of you <laughs> for not taking us there right goddamn now. If you have all the money you you don't even need to do intimidation for this, because if you do have all the money, he can lead you to the hands if you want to purchase a property in the hands. We don't have money on us. I'm not taking the time to go fucking buy property. Yeah, <laughs> property. And in real <laughs> life, I am buying property right now. <laughs> yeah. Cody, Cody, look at these timeshares, though. I mean, they look the, in the little pinky. The pinky looks really nice this time I, of year. I roll intimidation. <laughs> You've what about, a, what, a, what about a, a health near the heart? He's not even that intimidated. you got a nine. <laughs> Uh, what He's a little. Norman? What about a house near the heart? But there's not. We don't. Most people live in the arms and the legs. Um, all the buildings okay. in the torso are mostly commercial. A couple, I, a couple government people live in the neck. 
Okay. Um, I gotta um, what ask. Is, what's is the there dick? not a building? Is there not a building next what's, to the heart? What's, like, what's even the dick? Commercial? Dick's what's Pleasure the dick? Palace? You want to go to Dick's Pleasure Palace? It's no, like a I'm, CD I'm bar. good. I'm good. I just was curious. Yeah. Yeah. Um, my... right. So what's the building then in the center? The, oh, that is oh. the Chamber of Life. Right. What does it do? It, it's, it gives us the golem life. Huh. Mm. Wait, this thing's alive? Well, that is why it's still- if- if- if something were to happen to the heart in the Chamber of Life, the entire place would crumble. Everybody <laughs> would die. That would be fair. That would be horrible. That would be how, awful. How many people live here? That's a good thousand to two thousand. That's a- that's a horrible good, good few infraction thousand. right there. Jesus Christ. A, any- any- huh? any- sn any snack lemon? No, we have a about seventy percent of our, about seventy percent of our population are sulking, and we do have some humans, um, a couple whole guards. Um, so I'm glad you you you're adding to the whole guard population. Keep up those uh, diversity numbers. Am I right, fellas? Uh, he toys over to Yog. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, and uh, I, I've got to get a, such a pay rise for this. Well, anyway, thank you for the thank you for the tour. I flip him one gold. I actually only have nineteen gold. Left. <laughs> you guys, <laughs> you guys do hypothetically have unlimited money, but it's all with Wellington. So yeah. yeah. So as you guys are spending money whilst you're here, it's it is dwindling. Um, he, all right, I flip yeah, him one gold. Still, I'm like, well, well, thanks for the tour. That's it. We're gonna go for a walk. And yeah, right we're up nearly twelve hundred. I'm. I got a lot on me. Yeah, decent. I don't know well, how much Anthony okay, has. Okay. Well, uh, thank you so much. I'm going to go talk to my boss. Um, All right. Yeah, we're just going to check out these timeshares, and uh, you have a good time. Okay. Goodbye. Thank you. He gives an elaborate bow, um, and he smiles, and he he rushes off. All right. So anyway, boys, you know the leading cause of death. Let's go give this gold golem a fucking heart attack. Oh yeah, that's I, it. Oh, yeah. Um, we can't take it. That we can't take that people. hard. I mean, that's a. I can't. Well, I made sure to ask, of I made sure to ask if there was no if there was any snake girls. Who <laughs> <laughs> no. really cares about the lives of snake women? Look, listen. I, I mean, people are trapped here for all of, a, of forever, right? Or we would be setting them free, technically. I mean, free. I'm gonna look. Is it what? Is it like killing them? <laughs> well, they should they should be gamer enough to not die. Like what like if we remove it and get if we could die, right? But we're not going to. I mean I could no. just we could just Norm, jump off the golem. I have that anti gravity thing, we'll be fine. Listen, Norm, you're sounding a lot like the shark right now. We can't kill these people. I no, may I'm have not. opened up to the wrong person, is what I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> Bone slur is hungry. Can we go to Yummy Tummy? All yeah, right, let's, let's go, let's go have a meal. Let's talk meal. about this. I would over like lunch. to yeah. arm wrestle. All right, we'll food get you first. an arm wrestle. Don't worry about it, Bone Slaw. We'll yeah. get you an arm wrestle. Okay. My favorite food is ratatouille. Uh, it's everybody's here. favorite food, buddy. <laughs> All right, Cody. I guess I figured out a technically a better way to go about this. We'd have to defeat all the guards so that people could leave. But and then, them. <laughs> and then we crumble everything. The shark takes one step down from being a murder hobo, and Norman <laughs> takes two steps. <laughs> well, it was funny to me that the shark confided in Norman, who has the least issue with killing people. Like, out of, out of I everyone mean, else. Might, <laughs> I might have a better idea. Okay. Well, let's get let's get our friends some food. All right, let's go get some. Yeah, what, what yeah, are they selling? Yummy tummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy in my tummy. Okay, he walk into yummy in my tummy. As the doors open, the jingle theme song of yummy in my tummy plays, and it goes, <laughs> "Yummy in my tummy," and that just oh, announces over annoying. the speakers every time someone enters the uh, oh my God. establishment. Um, you walk in. There's a couple people eating. There is a man in like a business suit who's who's eating food, and he has a couple of uh, blood guards near him. Um, mm. He's on his own little table, and mm. a waiter comes up and goes, "Hello, welcome to Yummy in My Tummy. Is your tummy hungry? <laughs> Would you like eat some food?" Can I just get a uh, cheeseburger with some fries, please? Oh, right this way. Sit down. Oh, thank and it you. Leads you to a big table. So you would like a cheeseburger with fries? What about that the rest That would be delicious. You? you got the salads? We got <laughs> salads. <laughs> you got chicken nuggies? We got chicken nuggies. Ooh, Anything yeah, that's yummy in your tummy. I'll take a steak raw. 
I just, in fact, <laughs> barely, barely cook it. I want you to just hold cigars under it for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> and then it to me. All right, everyone makes that little this, this So do you just want the cow then, Shark? <laughs> you just want a cow? I want a smoked cow. <laughs> Bone Store looks around. There doesn't seem to be anyone here that I, I could arm wrestle. This is, besides that guy in no. the suit. Hey, Bone Store, you should wrestle elsewhere. that guy in the suit. The hold. Hold on. Yummy in my tummy. <laughs> Sorry, someone's just yeah. come into the restaurant, <laughs> and they uh, someone walks in, and then they go in. Uh, the waiter goes up, and they sit down. Continue. <laughs> we can find you someone elsewhere to have an arm wrestle with. If this guy, this guy's got guards. He might be important. Yummy in my. Sorry, it's busy. If, it's rush hour. Yummy for me. So what else? If we, have, in, a conver <laughs> if we have a conversation, we have a conversation with this guy. We could learn something or use him to work our way up towards the brain. Because here's what right. I'm thinking. I think Norman's right. I think we need to get rid of these guards so that everyone can escape, and then we take the heart. But I don't think just taking the guards out ourselves is going to be a good idea. We, um, we really got to figure out a way to get people evacuated out of the golem. Yeah. And like, a mi we, like several miles do away. We, do yeah. we know how to access the hut in the first place? Like Elevators? I don't know. I, guess, uh, I mean... Norman and you could fly up, but Yummy yeah, getting us. We have, we have to shut up else. every time that happens. <laughs> can, you just, can, you just, can, you can you describe the building that we saw? Uh, <laughs> it was, it was a, a spher spherical building, but inside okay. you could see a, a, a sort of platform, um, and it had four tunnels attached to it. And oh, like end, arteries. Okay. Yeah, at the end of each of those tunnels, there was a door. Blow up the door, enter. Save I mean, it, we can know? get in probably not a big deal to get we in and steal the right thing. Now. But yeah. if we steal the thing, the whole thing collapses, which could kill us too. Yummy I think... Oh my <laughs> fucking god! <laughs> <laughs> I think we so... need to go to the top. <laughs> all right. All right. We need to figure out how to... General Bone or whoever it was who controls all this, the military here, if we can get to him, if we can <laughs> convince him... Sorry. To let his guards stand down and evacuate the city. As that last person walks in with the last yummy in my tummy, it is a guy with like a, a slick black, black and sort of bluish hair, sulking, dark sulking skin, like a deep purple. Um, and he comes in with a couple of people next to him, and he just walks in and the waiter comes up to him and goes, well, good to yummy in my tummy, and he just pushes him to a side. Um, and you notice he approaches the table with the guy on the suit. Mm. Okay, well, where's this going? Uh, do you do you stop your conversation to watch, or do you just keep? Yeah, I'm definitely like we're like stopping what we're saying. We're like, hold on. Yeah, that's that, that's happening right in front of us. That's kind of distracting. So it's like, okay, hold on. Yeah. The guy eating the okay. Uh, yeah. Well, this is going on. Can the shark find the person making the yummy in the tummy announcements and have a very quick conversation? <laughs> with them? It's, it's a recording. It's over the PA. <laughs> okay, then I'm just going to go to where the PA is, and I'm just going to very <laughs> calmly. And reasonably pull it from the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Someone goes, hey, hey, don't do that. That costs so much good money. Oh, uh, you, actually, you've got to do a strength. I need you to do an athletics or a strength. Because uh, it is like oh, rooted in the yeah. wall. I don't know. Oh, yeah. You oh just my fucking God. yanked that out with a 24. <laughs> no, <laughs> that cost me so I'm much. I'm gonna walk up to the guy and go, hey, this almost just fell on me. Be careful, that could be a lawsuit waiting to happen. Well, that's a, that, is a, that is a deception roll, and it's a very difficult one, so good luck. Oh no, I'm doing it sarcastic. He just saw oh. me do it. I'm being like, oh, oh, the okay. fuck? <laughs> I wasn't trying to turn around and be like, this was just... <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's got tears in his eyes. He's like, no. And he's okay. like cradling it on the floor. Um, in the meantime, um, uh, you, on the other side, you go, Councilman Loeb, huh? Who knew you'd be eating with, with commoners like us? And, and the man with the suit looks up and says, Sometimes I like to enjoy a meal. What do you want with me? And the, the, the blood guards, uh, the blood force are, like, squaring up. Um, and the, the man with the ponytail looks over and he says, We want that key. Motherfucker. And he pulls out a crossbow and fires oh, off shit. a shot. Um, 
and one of the one of the blood guards immediately parries the shot, but shit is going down now. I don't know if you guys want to do anything. Did our food him? already did our huh? food arrive? Um, the Who's waiter not? with the food comes out in that moment, and the reflected arrow bounces off the arrow <laughs> of the armor of the guy and like knocks over uh, your cheeseburger. I need to try face. to grab my cheeseburger <laughs> if that's happening. Okay. No, my chicken nuggies, and I punch a guy in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Even though it's very um, unwizard like, but Okay. I'm gonna use the I'm gonna use feather fall on the tray of food. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work on it. Yeah, I guess so. And the food gently, perfectly lands on the ground, everything in its oh, right. Oh thank god. Alright. Alright. Oh. Well, in that case, Norman would not punch a guy in the face. <laughs> Alright. Okay, involved here? Mm -hmm. I mean I it's not really they the, up my chicken the guy who fired the crossbow is now sort of backing off cautiously as his crossbow shot missed as the blood guards walk towards him. He goes, oh god, guys, I, I was so confident I was going to hit that. <laughs> 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 All right, I see the violence happening. It's the shark. I'm going to get involved. Is that okay? Oh, that's what you would yeah. do. But, and the way I'm going to do it is perfect. Uh, so I'm going to hand the guy the PA system. I'm then going to turn back around and go, actually, sorry, I need that. And I'm just going to hurl it really goddamn hard. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you hurling it at? Are you hurling it at the blood force or the guys that just I'm trying entered? to do it like a break it up between them. You know what I mean? Like where it's not trying, I'm not trying to kill anybody. I'm not aiming for a head. I'm trying to like body oh, yeah. shot both of them. It's just, it's just like, hey, I might break some bones. Like ricochet it on both of them <laughs> at sorry, the same sorry. time. I thought you were trying to throw it in between them, but you're trying to hit yeah. two targets with this. No, no, no. I am like between them. Like trying. To, oh, like, okay, I'm not okay. trying to hurt anybody. I'm just trying to like, hey, fucking stop. So it it sl slams on the table between them, which will catapult Councilman Loeb's food into the air. Uh, You're on this. <laughs> <laughs> I already <laughs> used it again. <laughs> <laughs> the the food flies. Are you feather falling it? No, I'm not using another first level slot to save all this food. It flies in the air. I have my cheeseburger. I'm eating the Smashes cheeseburger. Okay? Onto the ground. A councilman lobe stands up. Um, he adjusts his suit. And he goes, Well, this is why I don't eat with the commoners. Let's go. And he turns round with his guards and they start to leave. And the, the man with the ponytail turns around and goes, Hey! Get back here! Um... And one of the guards grabs his wrist and pushes him down to the ground and sort of wrestles okay. him to the ground uh, and then puts handcuffs on him and escorts oh. him out of the premises, unless you guys want to do anything. I mean, uh, nobody's getting killed or anything right now. Yeah, so I'm he's not just really getting arrested. He's just getting arrested. Attacking a councilman. This doesn't involve mm, us. I might just yeah. let that beef now. You said the guy with the ponytail, though, he had friends in, that came yeah, in with him, his, right? His, his friends have started to run away. And the, oh, the I'm gonna grab one of them. Okay, if I can. Yeah, yeah I yeah. see him getting arrested. If they're making a break for it, I'm just gonna grab them. And go, hey, whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the guy hey. that you grab is actually a human, not a sulkin. Oh, yeah. You're not a sulkin? You're like me. Hey, you're like me. You're just like yeah. me. <laughs> Sorry, it's a Barbie movie thing. Continue. Oh, okay. <laughs> Listen. And I look over, the, the, the Blood Force, they're not coming for this guy, are they? They're on their way out? Mm. They've arrested a guy. The other ones sort of gave the other ones menacing looks, but are uh, on their way out because Loeb told them to leave. Okay. So now yeah. they're, they're leaving the premises. And the, the waiter goes, hey, you, you, haven't, you haven't paid. And the Blood Force gives him an angry look. He says, all right, no, it's free. It's, it's all good. <laughs> I intervene. <laughs> I, I, sorry, I, tu I, turn, I turn to the party after I see the Blood Force and get their free food by giving an angry look. We need to try that later. <laughs> and then, <laughs> these, uh, hey. these chicken nuggies are amazing, though. Oh my goodness. Um, maybe, maybe this town's not so bad after all. <laughs> so I've, I've got this guy, and I'm going to hey, see him. What are you doing? Are you What's with the Blood Force? My name is Ven. Ven. Do I look like I'm with the Blood Force? Come on. Oh, no, you, you actually look a bit odd with that pink spandex. It doesn't really suit you. Um. I mean, <laughs> I didn't ask you for fashion advice. <laughs> There's a fashion police here. What's he I wearing? Like, uh, he's wearing, like, black clothes, but he has this, like, Black clothes, but he has a green um, line that goes across his uh, arm. Like a wavy green line that goes across his arm. He's also wearing a bandana that's black and green. Oh, All right. You, you might doesn't... have a pretty what? cool outfit. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, my friend bought me this, okay? 
I think you missed the cool. fantastic opportunity to go, oh, you think I should change and then transform. <laughs> and, but, <laughs> you don't like this. The thing is, anything he transforms into still wears the pink spandex. Still wears the pink yeah. spandex. Uh, um, look, look, look. Anyway, I just want to know what that was about. Because me and my heard, friends were new here, and we need as much information as we can get. I heard something about a key. Uh, I, I don't know who you guys are. I don't... And he, he, his friend has already scampered out the window. <laughs> Rustich, I want to. You get through this, but I want to do something with the councilman after this. So I'm just. Well, councilman's left. Right. Ah, shit. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he right. did walk out the front door. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, yeah, I, I don't. Okay. Um, uh, he looks around. What? How? Why, why should I trust you guys? You don't really have a choice. Are you gonna kill me? I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> the look that you're giving says, I didn't say that, but yes. <laughs> Here's the thing, buddy, Ven. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of lives rest on us acquiring information and getting something in this city, okay? Thousands of lives. Do you work for the brain? Who are you guys? We're from out of town. You're newcomers? We haven't yeah. had newcomers in, in months. Just got here today. Today? Oh. Oh, 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 uh, you, he, C calm he, down, bro, calm down. Oh, uh, um, okay, he looks around at all the other people at the restaurant who are definitely now, like, looking over. Can we go somewhere a little bit more, um, secluded, private? Yeah, sure. sure. I know, um, I know. You lead really, the way. Show us where to go. I know a really good alleyway. I take my I take my it's salad by, it's off by the table. Dicks, it's by Dix. It's by Dix. That's Wait, Can I have a Can I have a, a to go box for this? Um, are you going to pay? Uh, I love that you're comping our meal in exchange for breaking up that fight, and you know to make up for the fact that your PA system almost fell on me. I really appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this has to be some sort of role for that. You like also that. dropped You also dropped my food on the floor, and I still ate it. Yeah, I'm not I also did genuine. Floor. Yeah, and I did and, genuinely top a yeah, fight. Yeah, 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 yeah. But and also, know, they, I mean, this place is here. in violation of the a shark, lot of. Uh, have an advantage persuasion roll. Yeah, I'd rather it be intimidation, so I say I do it while hoisting my bat. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You have an advantage on this. Fourteen is good enough. He goes, why am I so bad at intimidating yeah. people? He goes, <laughs> fine, fine, just just leave. Listen, I didn't even want your cerebrum coins. It's all good. It's all okay. good. We're, we're, it's free. It's free Burger Tuesday. <laughs> in, in that this case, is a damn good burger. Thank in you. In that so case, much. five burgers to go, please. <laughs> <laughs> I, the shark very earnestly goes, oh, I didn't order a burger. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's, just it's all right, guys. Let's let's just get out of here. Yeah, mm -hmm. let's go talk in the undescript yeah, alleyway. Time. That's probably safe. Okay, so you you go to um, he leads you out. He looks around shiftily, and he leads your big party all the way uh, to all eight of us. All eight of you. Yep. He goes, okay, get in here. You you're, you guys are in Testicle Avenue. Um, oh, <laughs> fabulous! Wait, yeah. I genuinely didn't understand what you said. So the shark in the alley goes, "What?" Uh, te <laughs> testicle Avenue. It's by it's by Dicks. Oh, um, you okay. actually said yeah. that? Okay, <laughs> I thought I've heard. <laughs> yeah. Sporting um, goods? No, no. <laughs> Dicks Pleasure Palace. Listen. Oh, that place. The blood yeah, force I've heard are a little bit more lenient around here. Uh, they know that it brings good like business, and Dicks pays quite a lot of cerebrum coins back to General Bone. Anyway, the blood flows heavily to the dick. The blood flows mm. heavily to the dick is very good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they use the place a lot. Sometimes, um, sometimes they have big parties. Every all, morning. Every morning. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> every morning they have a big party where all of the blood flows come to Dick's Pleasure Palace. Um, it's right around the time the left foot gets a little bit colder. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're taking a the sock off. Okay. Uh, uh, very good, very good, very yeah, good. It sucks for the people that live down there. Anyway, um, so you guys are newcomers. Um, I'm part of a group called The System. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but things are a little bit, shall we say, corrupt around here. Mm. Um, the brain, um, led by Chairman Cerebrum, he, he controls everything. Uh, but we, The System, we want to... We want to show him we're not to be messed with. Um, uh, okay. uh, I could, I could, 
bring you to our leader, um, and he could t- he could explain more if you want to. Um, but what's this key? Oh, yeah, um, it's a key to one of the valves to the Chamber of Life. Oh, okay. Uh, the Chamber that's, of Life that's... has four valves. Uh, if you know mm. what the Chamber of Life is, the Chamber of Life is that big spherical. Oh thing. yeah, we we we've um, seen and that. inside. Yeah, we've is seen that. The, the heart of uh, Corpus. Like to oh, get yeah. in there actually and look around. Oh, you that's know. our that's our opportunity as well. We want to. Oh, perfect. We yeah. want to. I think down I think we should talk to your leader. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Yeah. This is perfect. I mean, people call us radicals and terrorists, but um, uh, are you? Um, no, we're freedom fighters. We're the system. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. We're the only ones who have the nerve. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would imagine there's a lot of body puns in this place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. Well, right. do you want to? You do you want to bring? Uh, do you want to go visit his boss? Yeah. yeah. I Absolutely. mean, yeah. Okay. Might as well give an idea. Yeah. We've got a hidden on. place in the in the spine. Ooh, the spine. Where we, we managed to rig up our own um, elevator that the Blood Force haven't found out about near the, okay. near the back of Corpus. Okay, Let, do, you want, do you want a drink at, at Dick's before we go? I'm a little bit thirsty. Uh, yeah, I'll have a beer. Okay. Yeah, flash cut I'm after. Sure. You, <laughs> you guys have a beer. Anyway, then you go. <laughs> <laughs> we just stop, have a drink. <laughs> yep. Well. Okay. Well, this is dicks. Minutes later, like, all right, all right. Okay. You guys are now yeah, shifting break. through a lot of the back alleys of the town, um, trying to avoid obvious blood force members uh, until yeah. you, you reach the back. Um, and there's, he enters into this building, which is like a laundromat, like a washing building. Okay, and now the okay. back door of it leads to this small, very cramped little area. And in that area is a, it's like a one-person elevator. Um, and he goes... Is it up to code? It's definitely not up to code. There All no right, code I'll here. get to it. Hold <laughs> on. Um, and we, you guys have to go up one by one. He, he explains to you guys, we, we only had enough space to anything bigger and they would notice. But you have to go up one by one, and, and that's where we have to hide out. All, All right. right. Okay. Who wants to go up first? Uh, I'll do it. I'm the safety inspector. I'll make sure we don't <laughs> all die. Yeah. Uh, all right. And all eight of you go up one by one. Up this zoom, 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 zoom. And you eventually reach this shady little area. And at, uh, it, it's, it's quite a cramped small area. And there's a couple of guys there in, in black jumpsuits with green lines around uh, their arms. And at the, at the end of this little opened area, there's a man sitting on a pile of boxes. And he's playing with a knife. And he goes, Eh, new blood, huh? Unless uh, Ven's been uh, taken over by the uh, blood force and we've been exposed. But the fact that we're all still alive, I assume that you guys are here to help us. And he turns round and he's, his hair is like half black, half green. Um, oh, okay. Oh, he looks very edgy, like a proper like <laughs> deviant <laughs> OC. Um, oh, yeah. He's got like a black green scarf ba- balaclava over his nose and mouth. And he's playing with a knife in one hand, flipping it in his fingers. So, Well, as it happens, I think our interests kind of align. Yeah, we hear you're trying to get in the chamber of life. Mm. Yes, we are. Wow, you guys newcomers, I don't recognize your faces. Yeah, fresh in yep. today. Yep. Well, my name is Nerve. And I'm the leader of this system. All right. Mm. Yeah. Okay. This nervous system. <laughs> get it? You get he seems it. Pretty, he seems pretty confident to me. I wouldn't say he's nervous. <laughs> nah. <laughs> How nervous does he look, actually? No, he looks pretty confident. But he looks pretty a confident. little bit um, stressed, I would say. Okay. He looks so, a little stressed. Who, who's the guy that would be stopping everyone from leaving? If someone wanted to leave... Who's oh. the guy that, like, the guy in charge? Chairman Cerebrum doesn't let anyone leave. All right. Um, okay. I don't know Even if it, it was an emergency, like the whole place caught on fire, hypothetically? Uh, no, because he's perfectly safe in the brain with the rest of his councilmen. Mm. This is the only the place in- that he can a- assert his authority. He knows that if people leave, he has no power over them anymore. But that's a system right. that we've got to break. We want to prove to him and the rest of the brain... 
and the rest of his fucking organs that we are the people that can make a difference in this world. We want to take this whole city and send it crumbling. Oh, well, well, <laughs> I mean, I'd rather have nobody die if that happens. Uh, yeah, but people die all the time because of this oppressive regime. Theoretically. Yeah. If there was a way to literally make the city collapse and crumble. Yeah. Hypothetically. Not hypothetically. Would you? Yeah. We, you okay. would take that. We are, our, our plan is to take the heart and crumble the city. And what about the people inside of it? They are all serving Cerebrum. They're also, if they don't join our cause, they're actively against us. Well, you would die too. Yeah, wouldn't you die? Well, you know, I'm a martyr. Jesus Christ, so you guys are So who dedicated. does this... Wait, who does it benefit if you destroy the city if <laughs> yeah, everyone really? in it dies? Including yourselves. You, you're not understanding me correctly. I'm not doing this so that we live a better, paradise-free life. I'm doing this for the, for the hundreds of years that people have been... The, we, I want to show oh. Cerebrum that everything can come crumbling down. Okay, so this is just like a middle finger to the establishment and just scorched earth, just kill everybody and just destroy everything, huh? You got me. How? And also, I'm not okay, gonna no, okay. show anything to anybody. You're gonna kill thousands. Counter the, argument, uh, counter the, argument. The shark want... really awkwardly goes, I'm gotta pee. <laughs> I have to too. Anthony and the shark go pee. Listen, we just, we have a hole. <laughs> <laughs> It, it, counter <laughs> counter argument. You guys want to see the council defeated, kind of, right? Um, and lose. You want you want it to come crumbling down. Yeah. What if we helped you guys defeat the council? Impossible. People had a General Bone is far too strong. My name is Norman Brigatoni. And never I heard of it. up in the air. <laughs> I ain't scared. <laughs> of just, holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> <laughs> I ain't scared of nobody. He's like <laughs> poking as he's pointing over. <laughs> Whoa! You guys, right. you guys seen this? We already, our plan was to try to take the heart as well, but we didn't want to kill everyone in the process. So we're thinking we defeat the brain in the council. People have a choice to leave and are set free, and then we make it go crumbling down anyway. A few of my men have had a problem with my Scorch Earth strategy. Some of them have yeah, suggested. Yeah, no shit. Yeah, Ven's like, yeah, I say that we evacuate everyone in the legs, and then we do it. Thank yeah. you, Ven. Just the legs, not the... Okay. Well, you would the you, legs you would is where goal the... without everyone dying. It's kind everyone of the, who it, lives it, in the arms is the bourgeoisie, right? Eat the rich, they all should die. The legs, that's where the real men, the hard workers, they live, right? If you start evacuating the arms as well, people will get suspicious. Legs are easy to evacuate. I'm just saying, let people have a choice to leave, and uh, this way you achieve your goal, yeah. but also not everyone's dead, you know? The, the, yes. I, maybe the that's, a little, bit, maybe that's, that's a little bit, I, that's a, maybe that's a little bit idealistic, if you, if but you, you, you today's your lucky day. If you today's have your lucky a day. way of taking on the entire blood force, you can, you know, you can die, die trying, whatever. And, but, and that's when I turn to the boys, I think it's time for another heist. <laughs> <laughs> Aye, yes. Sorry, I had to take a piss. Wait, we're going on another heist. Okay. But, but there, the there are four we... valves connected to the 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 chamber of life, and yeah, Chairman Cerebrum, Councilman Loeb, General Bone, and Archbishop Polmo each have a key. Hmm. Okay. Uh, can you just lockpick the doors? No. Then it's Have not. You tried? When I say key, it's not a physical key. Okay. Yeah. Better. It's some kind of magical thing. All right. All right. Listen. We obviously didn't introduce ourselves properly. No. We are the Otherworldly Brewery, a collection of this land's strongest fighters. I've never heard of you. <laughs> <laughs> what? You live in a golem. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, um, I mean, you look like a fun assortment. You've got a dog. We yeah, do have a dog. I've only ever yeah. seen dogs in books. 
hold up real quick. The shark is going to get back. And he's going to see you trying to intimidate someone. And he goes, oh, do you, do you need me to roll? <laughs> Doug, you want me to fuck him up? <laughs> no, I, th I think we're good. I think we're, I think he's oh, okay. on our side. I think we're good. Okay. Okay. Um, Norman did that thing he did where he like floats and levitates and that really impressed him. So yeah, there you go. <laughs> But you do Mr. seem we, powerful. If we can take out the top brass, the big four, and take their keys, the blood force won't have anyone to follow. That's a good point. Our yeah, they don't get paid. They're just not going to... Yeah. You know, they... They don't... There's not enough... They, we're malnourished and weak. I, I hate to admit it, but we never sort of could stand a chance against the blood force but so we've been trying other methods you know pickpocketing stealing that sort of thing i had a man go yeah. out tonight he had a poisoned arrow that was going to put a councilman to sleep i haven't yet seen how that's turned out oh um, yeah that all right uh, yeah it didn't work it didn't work uh, i mean the guy that was part well, he of his snuck group up on came him, back right? with us like, right he, he <laughs> snuck up behind like i ordered them to infiltrate like uh, become one of the kitchen stuff Hit him with the arrow. Uh, he kind of just walked in and missed the arrow. And he kind of walked right up to the dude. <laughs> he was having a sandwich. Yeah. yeah I mean, it was a, at least it was a sneak attack. He just missed. Or yeah. it, it bounced off. I can't remember. Ah. Yeah. Ooh. Right. Where is he now? He got, he got arrested. He got arrested. Ah, oh, fuck. You think he'll leak the location of this place? Uh, he might. He's very weak-willed. Ah, shit. Well, you probably should it's be getting out of here then. It's fine. Yeah, you guys re go somewhere else, reestablish yourselves. We're going to take care of these guys, okay? We're Try setting up shop in the floor. appendix or something. Do you have a couple of strong fighters you could send with us, or are you guys just all weak? I'm strong. He turns up. He, 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 he stands up. His four sulking arms, they all have knives in them. I am okay. maybe not physically strong, but I'm definitely the most proficient fighter. I know where all to right. strike. The exact we nervous could, points. Well, why don't why don't you join us we and help uh, help lead us? Because yeah. we don't exactly know the layout of this land. True. Okay, yeah. Well. Right. We need someone who knows this place. Well, if you want someone who knows this place, there's Parasmus. Oh, that Parasmus? Yeah. I mean, he showed us around a bit. Yeah, he but... knows everything. Yeah, but, but he's, he's not going to help us. He's, oh no, he's he not going to help us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, why don't you bring him up then? <laughs> <laughs> but he's kind of cool. Need... We need I mean, someone that knows kinda nice. That he's a, he's someone that knows the place while we're doing the heist. I I, so I that, feel like, bad. That, but they're not gonna him. try to arrest us or report yeah. us. Yeah, he would probably try and report us. But that's just because okay. he is, lives in an oppressive society. Yes. This is what we need to do. Yeah. We need to kill, or incapacitate, or capture all four of these guys in quick succession. Yes. Otherwise, the... if we take out one and they're like. One of our guys got killed. They're gonna like lock down security, all the guards. Hey, here's a question: uh, Do you have pictures or photos of what these guys all look like? Yes, I have drawings. Okay, uh, I could look at those. He, yeah. he he points over at a guy in the corner who's who's got like a sketchbook. Um, oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, uh, and he he rushes over and he he puts down the four pictures of the guys. Um, well, Chairman totally Cerebrum has a huge fucking forehead. Um, <laughs> it's a big <laughs> forehead. Big, bulgy head. He's, yep. Yeah, yeah. And he's, he's in like a big robe. Um, and he's got a huge smile on his face. Then there's General Bone, who's like very skinny. And his, he's missing his nose. And he's in this like Aww. very complicated red armor with like white streaks across it. Um, oh, and he's got okay. this very sinister look in his eyes. Um, then Councilman Loeb, you already met, who's very posh looking. He did have a mustache. And I don't want to say yeah. that. It was very I've cool. seen him before. And I don't really like the idea of us splitting up to try to take out multiple no. at once. Well, no, me neither. I, I have an idea. So with a, with these full body sketches, would you allow me to, could I use disguise self to look like one of these dudes? Uh, you'd look like one of these dudes in black and white. <laughs> is, that, is, what, is that what disguise self does? It's well, in black no, and white? But like, you don't know the colors... Well, he can guess, I guess the colors. I guess I, I can guess I the colors. He said a red I armor. Red so armor. He did say red. He did well, say red. More That's the only color he has. <laughs> more specifically, the councilman, I saw him in real life. Yeah. So with the drawing and with my memory of what he yeah, looked yeah, like, yeah, I could yeah. transform into him. Yeah. So. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I mean, my idea is to, like, transform into the councilman, go up to one of these other dudes and be like, hey, I need to have a chat with you. Okay, buddy, how you doing? Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, and yeah, then yeah. just, and that's yeah, a good plan. So yeah. I'd, I'd say yeah. the one, the only one you could probably transform into is Councilman Lope, because you saw him. All right, person. that's fair. The others, I'd have to guess at their outfits and hair colors yeah, yeah, and, and skin yeah. tone and shit. Yeah. I think we also need to attack at night. Does night even so, mean anything in here? I mean, people still have to sleep, right? Right. If yeah. we attack when the, we like, attack it during sleeping hours, yeah, okay. Yeah, I was saying we heists are always better at night uh, from the movies <laughs> I've seen. <laughs> and yeah. like I mean, we don't, somebody we just said... don't want them to report to the others when we defeat someone. So it's got to be exactly, a quick succession, yeah. one night of murder. Right. Yeah. That might be All difficult. Right. No. Sense. Why? We don't have day and night here. What we do mm. have is movement and stand still so the okay. golem moves at night oh and so we know it's night time because things start moving around but we strap ourselves into our beds at night to make sure that we that sounds like a terrible night's sleep this that's is why another... you don't have a homeless population they just fucking die <laughs> <laughs> just yeah. bang and just oh my god that's another safety they're like oh my god why don't we try while they're strapped into it, bed no, no, to no. assassinate these leaders he moves very slowly so it's not terrible oh okay it's All not right. like it's not like but it is a little bit it's not like an earthquake yeah so does the chairman like stop using his his sun magic or whatever when the movement's happening uh the the archbishop oh sorry not the yeah. chairman the uh the archbishop uh, yeah archbishop. The archbishop. um yeah, I mean, we have just lighting lamps and stuff everywhere. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. Um, and also, they are the least affected by the movement in the brain, in the head. Yeah, I guess the people in the feet the and the people legs in, probably... That's why that's the poor place to live, the legs yeah. and the feet, because they're the ones who get fucked during the night. Well, the the pleasure <laughs> palace, though, would be swinging. Oh, yeah. That. yeah. Oh, dangling. Have you, have you had a visit there yet? Uh, we had a beer there. It was like oh, we took incredible. like 30 minutes and just yeah, chilled yeah. out for a bit. Yeah, it was pretty good. <laughs> um, how many hours would you say until the golem starts moving again? Uh, he looks at a clock on the wall. We've got a good like five, six hours, I'd say. Wanna, can we kill four people in six hours? <laughs> Easily. We're going yeah. to permanently incapacitate. Permanently and incapacitate and or knock out. Yeah. If we know where all four of them are gonna be, then yeah. Mm. Right. Well, we have some idea, uh, but we don't have it entirely. We know that General Bo Bone does his rounds throughout the body. Uh, he definitely has a... We, we know... General Bone's the one we know the most of where he is at any given time. Because oh, okay. he has a schedule that we've stolen. Well, if that's the case, I could transform into the councilman dude, go where the bone guy is, and be like, oh, hey, man, how you been? You just doing your rounds, and then I could just sneak up on him and steal it or incapacitate or whatever yeah. I need to do. Yeah. But he is the strongest out of the four. Ah, catch 22. Yeah. That's that's oh, but I mean, we want to hit him at full strength then. Yeah. Uh, that's so true. let's just do that. I guess we should probably do him first then, yeah. And does bone control yeah. the blood force? Yes, but if he goes down, the chairman would take over. Unless... But I would be the chairman at that point. You would be the council. So... Would... No, oh, but he could just disguise okay. himself as the general. True. Yeah. Nobody needs to know that, like that the general's that dead. We need to find him a. Pl we have to get him alone if we're going to do this, though. Yeah. 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 That's going to be Rarely tough. Does alone. he patrol by himself or with his guards? No, definitely with people. But if we could take out those okay. people as well. Yeah. Yeah. Just if there's ever... no witnesses and you transform into the general, yeah. we could get this evacuation going tonight. Like, shit. Take let's. Out of consciousness not kill yeah yeah uh, knockout yeah i don't want i'm a firefighter Remove. i don't want to kill people yeah. yeah but you know mm -hmm. well at this time of day let me check his, he checks his schedule he'd be patrolling down the right arm and making his way to the hand that's kind of out okay. in the middle of nowhere compared to the rest of the body he's separated from the rest of the body at least mm -hmm. he's cornered yeah he's doing left he's arm stunned. right arm and then he does he does the legs and then he finishes off in dicks of course. Yeah, everybody finishes at six. Here's a question. <laughs> Do you know how thick the walls are of the golem? <laughs> See oh, how thick is Pretty thick. We've tried digging through. We can't even make a dent. Okay. Never mind. All okay. right. I Let's mean, if we track can... this guy down. 
We got to get it, moving if we're going to do this I, tonight. Yeah, I'm trying to do better as a party companion. I know my strengths and weaknesses. Please don't give me a job that's going to require a lot of thought. Is there a part of this plan that requires a distraction and or someone to make a scene? I'm quite probably. Things. I actually think this is going to be pretty straightforward. If we can corner him in a quiet area of whatever it is, the hand. Yeah. We just descend on him like yeah. hawks. <laughs> Here's what we'll do. Get him, go up to him. I'll, you know, we plan something. You guys go into a building. I'll transform into the councilman, go up. It's like, hey, Bones, we have to have a chat. And I think you know about what. And then he might take a couple guards with him. That's fine. You know, just get him separated. We could yeah. take like him and maybe two of his guards. I'll try to get it so as many, so few guards as possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, we could do that. Now, I like that. But the guards that are left, they're still going to, if he doesn't, you know, come back really quickly, they're going to get suspicious. Mm, that's true. If you draw away the general, should we try and whack the guards? I think we might have to split our forces a bit here, and that's not a good idea. We could have Bone Slaw and uh, Yog take care of the remaining Yog. guards, and then I'll lure the Bone guy into a fucking yeah. yeah. If we think these two are strong enough for that, you mm. think the uh, shark? You know about the guards? You think Bone Slaw and Yog could take a couple of them? The you you there is another issue though. Um, guys. Yeah, what's that? Um, regular citizens cannot enter the arms unless you have property there. It's because it's like upper class living. How areas. many people? Well, if hmm. we have well, a lot wait, of money and we where, were talking do you to know? the plasma guy about buying property in the hands or he wanted us to do that. Yeah. So maybe you've got to buy the property first. I have this wait, pamphlet. Wait, wait. Or you could do where, where? I mean, I'm not buying property until the, I see it. Where is the councilman's property? The council. The brig, no, no, no. Briggs just made a beautiful point. This person's lying to us because how do you buy property without seeing it? You must be able to get it in some way. Well, he's not lying, there, so. but that is true. That is true. If uh, we start the process of purchasing something, they're gonna they're gonna give us a tour. That's a good. And that's point. how we lying. Let's kill him. Can, I mean, can we do that real quick, we, like now, no. and yeah. try to get to the hands? The councilman lives in the neck, by the way. Okay, okay. so we can't get through with. I mean, okay. if I transform into the councilman. I could walk in with you guys, and then you guys could go somewhere, and then I find the skull guy, and then bring him over. Yeah, could do that. Well, it doesn't sound like you'd be allowed in as a councilman. I wouldn't be. Or, or is he? Is he? He's not a regular citizen. citizen. No, I'm no, sure no, he no, could no. get us through. Yeah, yeah. A councilman would probably be able to get through. Yeah. Let's see, there you mean. Yeah. If yeah. you just pretend there's some emergency and you need to take us to the general who you know is in yeah. the hand. Exactly. I, I could I just do that. that you... Gotta let us past. Man. I didn't know there were people out there who could just magically take on the form of other people. I know, you crazy. You guys not right? have magic here? Uh, I mean, only the Archbishop and the uh, mm. Chairman. Um, he I don't have his... it on my sheet. It's Disguise Self. Yeah. Mm. I just want to see how long it lasts for. An hour. Okay. Oh, yeah, that is very important. Um, it would take... A while to get to the to to the hands. Like, well, I wouldn't transform. I, I wouldn't transform on the way. I do it like when we're getting close to the arm. Well, no, but that's exactly the point. Is you guys yeah. are saying the, that you would be to get from the shoulder where you enter. Yeah. Oh yeah. That, that I can. I can up. I could use it again. Oh, I could just do it twice. Second. That's fine. Yeah, 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 do it yeah. twice. Yeah, 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 it's fine. Yeah. yeah. Holy shit! All right, let's uh, let's start. All right. All right. Those iconic moments. Q. Q come out looking different <laughs> <laughs> what is giving you the disguise self i it's a spell that i learned oh i sick. have th th those shit that's all, all that stuff in my sheet that's just the basic shit i got like a while ago like those ones that are already pre-prepared that's the stuff i get from being an artificer okay and then i've switched out my spells a couple times that's like back when like level seven when i started all right, yeah. all right, all right. You've got but this to has been in the. Scene. This has been in the. I can see you looking at it. This yeah, has yeah. been in my stack for a while now. I've you, had this in there because you a while. are similar to a wizard where you have prepared spells. You know what I mean? Yes. So yes, you've got to update your sheet with your prepared spells because we cannot have a situation where you're suddenly like, oh, by the way, I have the best Brustage. most immediate spell. For I have this as a stack every single time okay, we okay. start. And These are all of the spells, spells I know. Yes. There's a lot of spells. Okay. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure. Um, okay, so you are going to transform into Councilman Loeb. Okay. Yes. Um, I do want to say, look at one thing about the sky self, because yeah. it does have one caveat, right? That is, you, um, you cannot... You can't make yourself a foot... I can make myself a foot shorter or taller. If anybody touches me, that's going to be a problem. Uh, 
It's like a hologram. No, you can't change your body type, so you must adopt a form that has the same basic arrangement of limbs. Is he a Sulkin? He's a Sulkin. So you're going to be a two-armed Councilman Lobe. Could I have two arms that I just... Like something to like t- attach to my body and then use disguise self. I mean, you that. guys still have the Sulkin body suits, so you could take the arms off of that and attach them. <laughs> or I could turn Yaw, not Yog, uh, Bone Slaw into the Councilman. <laughs> yeah, I guess you could turn Bone Slaw into the Councilman. <laughs> no, it's range self. I have to use it on myself. Yeah. Um... Uh, okay. Okay, we could do the body suit idea. That we could just do that again. Yeah. yeah, yeah Why yeah. don't we just put the other two like parts of the coat in your pocket <laughs> it looks like he's walking around with I, I honestly yeah point. something like that just to fake it this, this, this yeah. like fluff it up put some like yeah, 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 yeah. In there. I, I was thinking it's like fine. that like, like that that could just those hands could just be in like your pocket i just wanted something to quick yeah. something and we do quick. a deception thing for that yeah, 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 but yeah. like and i'm just yeah, saying that yeah. there is there is an ever so slight flaw in your disguise potentially um okay so you you i do you cast it on yourself now or you uh not until we actually start getting close to the arm or the shoulder okay yeah. so is, are you leaving anybody here or are you taking full gang uh full we might gang. need the full gang for this uh okay full gang rolls out all nine of you now individually go down the escalator enter and you 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 nerve is very much like keeping low he's covering his face he's actually wearing a mask um as he's hiding behind you guys as you walk to the elbow canonically and as you guys saw this as you guys saw the uh, stone giant um he is tea posing when he sleeps um, ha. <laughs> oh so his arms are like this hilarious. right so the hands okay. are at yeah. the end instead of being downwards that he's tea posing that's not very comfortable uh well it's comfortable for him you know uh <laughs> So he's he's T-posing. Um, and you get to the shoulder, and there's uh, a, an elevator, but it's like one of the ones that goes sideways. What are they called? Yeah. Trains. Um, mm. Yeah. So it's... <laughs> <laughs> Tra- yeah. yeah, trams or like, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Quick, and- quick, quick little thing, guys. When we do isolate this general guy... Um, code word will be pineapple juice for us. So you get a surprise. Oh, we do pineapple juice? Okay. Okay. I'll and be like, I, you have a nice refreshing glass of pineapple, you know. There yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, so you get to the shoulder, and there's a train there, but it's it's just like carriages. It's like open air. Um, it's just a thing attached to the rail, and it, it goes back and forth. And the thing is labeled, there's actually two there. Mm. Um, and one of them is currently at the at the shoulder. There is a train okay. conductor there. Um, and he, he's just, right. he's sitting there with his little train conductor uniform and he, okay. he looks up. So if we, if, if this is like a first checkpoint yeah, where yeah. they're going to like let yeah. us in, okay, then I'm going to have to go somewhere and transform them. Okay. So you, okay. you, 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 you put on the body the suit and yeah, you put on the body. So I'm going to have to doff my armor to make this work. Take off my armor, put on the body suit, cast disguise self. All right. And now you're councilman Loeb. <sighs> All right. Then. We'll go. And as you approach the, uh, the train conductor immediately salutes. Goes, Nerve is with us, right? N- uh, yeah, but like, I imagine... Disguises. No, 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 but I, I'm imagining that uh, Councilman Loeb is approaching without you guys immediately. Are you guys all coming out together? Well, it would be odd if we approached after him. That's a good point. So, yeah, which is you, like his retinue, yeah. right? Yeah, 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 we're, yeah, you're my, like, you're my staff, yeah. So is, yeah, that's a good point, is Nerve with you? Because he is a wanted criminal. Is he disguised oh, is he at all? He's got a mask on. But but it's not a very good one. Norman, <laughs> give him your hoodie. <laughs> like, I don't know. Well, <laughs> not my hoodie. You can have my what if? Hoodie. What if? Are you going to cast Polymer? I'm, I'm assuming Nerve yeah. says this to us yeah. on the way. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, by yeah. the way, I'm, 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 I'm like number one terrorist. Shit. All right. Yeah, if, yeah, if you were captured, who is the one person in this body oh. who would want to see you the most? General Bone. Yeah, that's actually not bad. Okay, we could do that. We're, I can roll with that. We arrest you. Yep. And we're taking you to General Bone. Okay. That's a really good idea. That's a good we, idea. Let's do that. Wouldn't... Okay. And we'll be the three bounty hunters that you hired to, to, to get Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, I'm yeah. Here. We're from out of town. He brought yeah. us in as bounty hunters. We're not in the blood force. 
Yeah, I'll go on a general perfect. bone. I like this idea. We should right. maybe tie this him is... up a little bit. Like, yeah, you know, not, not tight, rope? but just yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah, we have we have rope. Yeah, yeah. okay, so you tie him up a little bit. Cody, Cody does one of those knots where it, like, it looks like a proper knot, but if you just pull on the inside, it just loosens. Okay, <laughs> okay. Sorry, we can sorry, even ask He's good him. with knots. He used to do a lot of counts. Nerve, Nerve, can you break out of this if you needed to? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay, we're fine. Uh, Mr. Green, okay. what did you say? I said, can we roll to see how good the fake knots are? <laughs> or can we just like you quit well, fail, you actually tie a great here's knot? Here's the thing. <laughs> Cody, Cody would insist on tying the knots. He did. He was a Cub Scout. He was there you he go, yeah. a lot with his dad. He did survival training. So if you need a roll, I can do a roll. Okay. Um, yeah, do a survival roll then. I mean, how it's D&D. We have to do the roll. Do with a survival advantage. roll. Yeah, 20. you're good. Yeah, okay, you're perfect. good. All right. Perfect roll. knot. Easily. That's an impeccable knot, Cody. Yeah. It's one of yeah, those it's a quick slip knot. If yeah. he, like, pulls on the inside, it'll come right but off. It but it looks like it's convincing, tight. Right? Yeah, yeah. All right, you guys All right, so the are we doing he this? We're approaching up. the... Okay. He salutes. Whoa. Councilman Loeb. Welcome. Um, what are you doing here? Um, Thank you. I need to go speak with General... What was this? Oh, out of character. What was the guy's name? General Bone. Right. Yeah. Okay. He's like, hello, yeah, I have to speak with General Bone. I have something oh, that yes, he would be he very interested in. Recently. He's just doing his rounds. I'm aware of his schedule, son. Now let us in. We have some, I have something you, very important to give to him. You sound a little different, but... Uh, I know. Can I try to mimic the way he talks? Because I would have heard the way he speaks. Yeah, can you... At least his, his, the I gruffness of his voice. I want you to give me your impression of him. Well, <laughs> we, I don't we remember... What well, how did he first? speak at the restaurant? Who sort of talked like this, General Loeb? He's um, I mean, it's like sort of. Oh like, yes, I'm General Loeb, sir. Go. Nice to meet there you. you. Yes, there you go. Yeah, I could do there a performance go. if you want me to. But, uh, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm kind of maybe oh, shooting gosh. myself in the foot here. No, 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 no. He's fine. This conductor's fine. Uh, conductor's okay, fine. okay. He's okay not there suspicious you go. at all. He goes. Yeah. Um, but but if you see like the president of the fucking United States, you're gonna be like, you don't yeah. sound like well, Joe he's Biden. Not like, the president. You look like you know. He's not the president. He's a captain. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, still, he's okay. famous around here. He's he knows famous. who the fuck he is. You're not going to yeah. be like, wait a second. <laughs> uh, All right. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm going to start walking in. Okay. He he leaves. Assert he, dominance. Uh, yeah. I, he goes, All right. Well, right this way, sir. Um. And he he pulls out to. <laughs> he, he. Who are these guys? This is the crew that helped capture a wanted terrorist. <laughs> this is a bounty hunter crew I brought in from outside of town. And their dog. The outsiders. Don't ask. I won't. <laughs> Damn straight you won't. <laughs> uh, now you're gonna we're gonna get going or what? Of course. Um All right. uh, should I send you right to the hand? Uh get us to bone as quick as possible. Okay. He's currently right. in the thumb. Alright, take us to the thumb then. Right, it, it stops at the hand. You have to walk to the thumb. I, I don't. I I get it. Just let's go. Come on. I yeah. I okay. I know. I should, weird thing that you would say. <clears throat> um, any. He... Oh my god. You know what I meant. Let's go. Okay, Come on. Uh, <laughs> gosh, he's just like. <laughs> This is exactly like Loeb. Um, so there's, there's, <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Oh my exactly. god, I don't need to know every single fucking detail about you being a tram conductor. Just let's Listen, go. And, Come on. And are you, are you <coughs> Um, sorry, I'm sick. You don't give us sick days. <coughs> Right, let me... I just look at him with the look of disappointment like I've done with your shit for today. Okay. Like, so, let's so, go. Sorry, sir, sorry, sir. And he activates the tram, and it goes, it flies off down the track. As Whoa. it's speeding down the track, everyone goes, Woo! <laughs> everyone, Woo! <laughs> you see, you're flying past these nicer-looking homes in the arm. Uh, mm. There's like a river as well. It's really nice. Um, and until you eventually reach um, the what? hand. And the hand is these lovely district, and there's these huge homes built into each finger with their own right. estate and everything like that. Um, oh, wow. Yeah. Did you? I, just, I rolled for the shark doing constitution. So he would have never even gone above like 40 miles. Oh, God, right. right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he would have lost his goddamn mind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you reach the hand area, and All right. you, you get off. The... Just walk out. Yeah. All right. Are so you... around the hand and like in the fingers and stuff, mm -hmm. it's it's, like it's more like big houses, parks, that kind of thing. Yeah. yeah so yeah. it's not nearly as populated as the no 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 the definitely, definitely. Okay. Very good. There's very only good. there was one old lady out at the moment, <laughs> and she's just walking around. And she sees it arrive, but she's minding her own business. But okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say anything to her. All right, great. So this guy, this guy, I'm per, per, it seems like kind of an asshole. I don't think he would talk yeah. to a little old lady. A little yeah. asshole-ish. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You heading to the thumb? Uh, yeah. 
Okay, you you walk into the you walk towards the thumb, and as you get closer to the thumb, there's a uh, couple of blood force members, and they they salute you as you pass by, and then sort of eye up the people behind you, but they don't ask any questions. Uh, and then you notice in the distance, you see a, a very frail looking man, um, without a nose, right. and he's talking to one of his blood force members, and he's pointing at something in the house, and uh, that blood force member like goes <clears> inside this this estate house, and there's, right. a, there's like an old man next to him who's like, also like bowing his head and saying something. Okay. As we're approaching, if it's just our group and there's no one else, Wait, does it immediately? Sorry, before as we're yeah. approaching, does it look like this old man is sort of being victimized by by the general here? I don't know. He looks apologetic. Okay, uh, okay. He's being somewhat yes, also uh, subjugated. Uh, mm-hmm. Uh, I just, not... I just because I'm one of the people like yeah, yeah, carrying yeah, nerve yeah, along. Yeah. I just want to point out. I'm trying to. I'm trying to slightly de-radicalize. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, look, he has a better way of living than the people down on the legs, but he's still a victim of these guys. Yeah, he's just being told off. It's more like a child of a of a parent being scolded. It's not like the people in the legs who die every day. What yeah, but... is? I'm just saying, everyone here is under their thumb. Oh, they, we're literally in the thumb. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good pun, right? Yeah, it's yeah, very. It's, pun. it's very. I Thank like you. that. Maybe maybe All everyone right. shouldn't die. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's all it took. That's all it took to get de-radicalized. Fun of, fun of wordplay. Okay. Oh my god, the puns save the day yet again. Okay. So, are you approaching as a group or by yourself? Not like? yet. Not okay, yet. Okay. I'm gonna so have a, a chat with Nerve really okay. quick. I'm like, all right. Do you know this place well? No, I've never been here. Okay. Well, we need a place to jump him. And do I see any place around here that looks abandoned, like a house that's for? Do we see any houses for sale? No. You're in the thumb now. And there okay. is, there is, I'd say, three houses built into the thumb, but they all are not for sale. They're all. Uh, he's, Do they look lived in? They, they, yes. Okay. All right. How big is the space we're in? Is there like, is there anywhere around here? Is it just an empty plain and then houses? Like, well, is there anything? Trees. There's, uh, there's a pond. Uh, you think of it like a big estate with three houses and a field. Okay, so it's there's just, like instead of a sky, it's just a domed. All right, roof. there's tree, there's tree cover. Yeah. Okay, there's, there's a little um, forested area. Yeah. I'm gonna lean over and be like, we tell him you need to talk to him somewhere in private where no. Yeah, no, that's what I was going no, to say, but I need no to find eyes a place. or ears could uh, yeah. see us. Yeah, I'm thinking over in that little like little forested area next to the pond. That's yeah, probably the, yeah, the, that, that's a bit. It's probably our best bet. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right, here we go then. I guess. Okay, you you mm -hmm. walk up to him. He turns around. Hey, Bone. Councilman Loeb. Yeah. You don't usually come out here. That I do not, but I have something that I think you would be interested in, and I kind of, like, point behind me. Like, my, I, I gesture at Nerve as Cody's holding him. All right. He... <clears throat> and I also kind of move my head, like, I think we should... Over here. Is that Nerve, I see. Mm. Right. I think we should talk in private here, and I kind of gesture toward the pond area. <laughs> I whisper to Nerve, act angry. Ah! Fuck you! Yeah! <laughs> I punch you really I commit to the role. <laughs> no, yeah. I, I clock him in the nose. I'm just like, bam! <laughs> Sorry, Nerve. Quiet down, you! <laughs> Cody's doing an accent. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um. Wow. Well, you were just here to hand over Nerve, right? I have some other issues we need to discuss in private. In private, uh, well, hand over the boy, and we'll talk about this later. I'm dealing with this guy. He tur he turns around uh, to the to the old man is and says, "This place is not up to scratch. We have to set a precedent. The chairman cares about look, okay." And when the thumb isn't up to scratch, the whole hand's not up to scratch. And when the whole hand's not up to scratch, the arm suffers. And when the arm suffers, the whole body suffers. You understand? Oh, yes. Sorry. I just, I just knocked a vase over. I was cleaning over. Unacceptable. If this happens again, we're for selling your house. And you're moving to the legs, all right? Bone. Yeah. You got, I have something you really need to hear right now. Yeah. It's a big deal. Right now, okay. Well, it's this guy, this piece of shit back here said he was the head of all this. 
it's not just him. There's somebody even bigger. And we both know him very well. Oh, interesting. We have to have a chat about this. So this is something that you don't think my uh, blood force should hear, huh? Nope. <laughs> okay. We need. We need. We need. We need. I let you do okay. deception or persuasion. I think they're both relatively equal. Uh, probably both. I'll, I'll just. Can can Hachiko? Yeah. Yeah. Hachiko, Hachiko now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you have bardic so inspiration. I get bardic inspiration. That's a what a plus. D, uh, what is yeah, that again? It's a D eight. So. Just a D eight. Okay. I'm gonna use deception because that is what I'm trying to do. <laughs> and then roll okay, a D eight. Okay, that's not bad. You have to roll the D eight. Okay. Because... And I have to roll the D eight. Three. Okay. 19. So 19, 19. Is, is good enough right. for him. I wanted you to get higher than 18. Um, oh, thank God. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so he, he Okay. Because, yeah, that's his uh, insight. Um, all right. Well. Uh, he, he signals over to his blood force to, to, to square up and take Nerve away from Cody. Mm -hmm. um, so they grab Nerve. They're going to take Nerve. So. <laughs> I'm gonna have to keep in character here. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Cody, they take Nerve away from you guys, and Nerve. Oh, oi! He's my captive. Um. Well, you're. Let him go. It's all right. Oh. All right, sir. <laughs> Nerve looks over at you guys like, is, is this part of the plan? <laughs> um, and they take. Uh. Um, and then count someone. They're just going to hold him here, right? They're not going anywhere with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they, they're holding him here. I mean, they his bone hasn't left yet. They, yeah. they, they, they have him by one arm each, and a third one comes up and just yeah. punches him in the face. Oh, All right. yeah. All right. That's for my brother. Oh, ah! Oh, shit! Did <laughs> he just punch <laughs> the dead? Fuck! For our blind viewers, Daniel Rustage, the DM of this no, company, no, no. just is not for them. <laughs> <laughs> not for, uh, uh, just full force punch punched, the wall, I think? No, I not only punched the desk, but I punched the sharp edge of it. There's oh. padding in your room all around uh, you you could have punched. <laughs> you punched the one hard thing in that room. I didn't mean to punch, I was just doing a punch motion. I thought I would punch the air, I, went, uh, I genuinely went full force. Does it hurt? Oh. It really <laughs> Fuck, you might have just fractured a fucking bone because you wanted to have a character. I'm good. I'm good. So you you go yeah. over you go right. over to to the uh, tree and the lake. Tree the little, little pond. pond, little romantic area, honestly, kinda. Of. Uh, I'm guessing this is only Anthony that's allowed to go over. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Just Anthony. Uh, the rest of us like, are just with the, the guy. All right, you guys so, yeah. are with I'm the gonna rest be in of I'm gonna be in How many blood force guards though? are there? Currently there are one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Six. Shouting distance, I'm, I'm in though. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, uh, Rustage. Wait, wait, wait. Can I use sleep? Let's see if I can put these well, in sleep. Well, prepare for that. Rustage, yes. really quick. The other two names of the guys there's Cerebrum, and then who's the other dude? Palmer. Palmer and Cerebrum. Okay. All right. So we're by ourselves right now, just me and Sorry, him. Pomo, Pomo. But yeah. Pomo. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We're. Yeah. Okay, so just me yeah. and him then, yeah, right? Yeah. Okay. So. Now we've finally captured Nerve, it should be a day to celebrate. But you're yeah, you'd me, think so. There's a big but he, fish to fry. He laid some hot news on me. Mm. Right. It's Palmo, Bone. Palmo? Yep. Takes it orders directly from him, and he proved it, too. Wow. That doesn't make any sense. Palmo's one of the most fiercely loyal people I know. She well, who do you think would be the one that would least suspect? Hmm. But why? I'm gonna try to angle him where his <laughs> back is to all of you guys. Um, so I'm kind of looking at you guys through the tree line. He's staring at me. Okay. Do you think it's, uh... It's like a divine... She thinks she's going crazy. That might have something to do with it. There's this uh, password he told me about, though. It was a uh, apparently you use it in the circles, and then you can like, you know. That nerve told you about. Yeah, exactly. And the password was pineapple juice. As I say a little loudly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Can I try okay. to cast sleep <laughs> yes. on the guards? But 
To be continued, you could do it <laughs> next <laughs> time. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, uh, Nerve told me about this password. It's pineapple juice. And, and then, like, Wait, why are you shouting then, that? I'm right here in front of you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then immediately you guys spring to action, but it is a to be continued. Yeah. Yep. Um, okay. There we go. Okay. I shatter cannon him right in the face. <laughs> We're all checking, checking. Be careful throwing those hands right now. All right. Just, oh, you know, what, guys? To... I don't know. Oh, God. 